welcome to the 2022 Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest. I'm Mark Snyder, Cultural Affairs Coordinator with the Consulate General of Japan in Houston, and I will be your MC today. While planning an in-person event proved to be a challenge again this year, we are glad to be able to come together virtually to celebrate Japanese language learners in Texas. As we celebrate your dedication to the study of Japanese, this year we also pay tribute to manga for its importance as an entry point to learning the language for many. Manga, a term coined by Japanese artist Hokusai in 1814, was intended to mean something along the lines of rambling strokes and reflected a genre of creative work characterized by strong facial expressiveness. That's it. In 1940s, Osama Tezuka would add his own innovations to centuries old Japanese artistic traditions, creating a new art form that combined the movement, vitality and realism of movies with the text and drawing of comic books. Manga is credited for helping new generations dream and whether the manga topic be adventure, cooking, history, or sports, the common message in most popular manga is, if you work hard, you can achieve anything. You, our contestants, embody this manga message as you are proof that effort and commitment produce results. But today, we make you the heroes of our contest manga story. As the contest unfolds, we ask that you reflect on your experience and ultimately share your thoughts in a survey. Any second, there we go. You'll see this a few times throughout, but a link to the survey is on your screen now, and it's also going to be shared via email following today's event. Please take time to complete the survey as your input, input is vital to ensuring the continued delivery of Japan-related programming in our region. The Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest is a collaboration between the Consulate General of Japan in Houston and the Japan America Society of Houston, or DASH. Missing part of my script. One moment. Okay. Joining us from DASH today is Executive Director Patsy Brown. Patsy, the screen is yours. Thank you, Mark-san. Minasan, ohayou gozaimasu and yokoso. Congratulations on making it to the 33rd Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest. It's so inspiring to see so many Japanese language learners from across the state of Texas gathered in one place today. Well, Mr. Schneider introduced me as the Executive Director of the Japan America Society of Houston. I am joining you today as a fellow Japanese language learner. Let me share a little bit about my language, Japanese language journey with you. So my studies, like many of yours, began in a Texas high school. I was selected by my school district to participate in a pilot program that had five students learning Japanese by watching three televised lessons and two telephone conversation lessons a week. So when we weren't on TV or on the phone with our instructor, we were busy completing worksheets that would be mailed to a location somewhere on the East Coast for grading and returned with corrections the following week. The uniqueness of the program and of course the beauty of the Japanese language was energizing and I loved the class. It was my favorite. Until one day, which in um, the last grading period of my senior year, I learned that the class I had come to love so much would be my first ever B on my report card. It also ended up costing me um, the top spot in my class. So no longer would I be valedictorian on the day of graduation. I was absolutely heartbroken. And my feelings toward the Japanese language changed in an instant. At the time, I vowed I would never study the language again. So I left and several years into college, I was given the opportunity to go to Washington DC and work for the State Department as an intern. And there I found myself itching to explore the Jap Japanese language and J Japanese culture again. So I found myself after returning from the internship, applying to a study abroad program um, the summer of my sophomore year. 
in university. And before I knew it, I was accepted and offered to stay with a homestay family in Japan for three months. After that, I found myself applying to the JET program. And then after JET, I realized I really did need to study the language formally and, and, and entered Sofia University and began studying Japanese in earnest. My studies at Sofia University led to an opportunity to work at one of the largest Japanese law firms, which also put me in a position to pursue graduate studies at Keio University. So all this in a nutshell to say, my Japanese language journey did not follow the traditional path and it was not by any real design. And yes, the path has been riddled with obstacles. However, I just kept trying, adapting, moving forward, and viewing each step and challenge through the lens of opportunity. And this is what I'm asking all of you to do today. Think of the 2022 Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest, not as a competition, but as a platform on which you can practice your Japanese in the company of supportive and like-minded individuals. You've put in the work. Now take pride in having the courage to demonstrate your Japanese skills and in having earned a spot to represent your region here today. We are looking forward to what will most certainly be impressive displays of Japanese language proficiency. Kyo, gambate kudasai. Josh is truly proud to be co-hosting today's contest with the Consulate General of Japan in Houston. And this year, we are pleased to introduce you to Consul General Hirofumi Murabayashi, who arrived in Texas in late November of last year. While Consul General Murabayashi could not be with us in person, he sends his personal greetings. My format. First of all, I want to Minasan Konnichiwa. It is uh, indeed a great pleasure that uh, 2022 Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest is held this year again, although it's in online format. First of all, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to Japan America Society of Houston and all the supporters who have contributed to arrange this uh, speech contest. I would also like to express my gratitude to uh, Japanese Association of Greater Houston and the Japan Business Association of Houston for their cooperation as well. And I especially would like to pay uh, deep respect to the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas because the teachers uh, continued uh, to, to teach uh, Japanese language and promote Japanese language even under the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and I have a message to all the participants to con the con speech contest. Um, <coughs> learning foreign language will brush up your skill in that language and uh, facilitate your communication and uh, exchange with uh, people from that foreign language, uh, from, from that country. Um, but uh, at the same time, by studying the, a foreign language, you can also learn the culture and the people of that country. So uh, it will lead to mutual understanding uh, between your country and the other country. <coughs> so, uh, Whatever your level of the Japanese language is, or whatever the result of today's uh, contest is, I would like to ask you to conti continue studying Japanese language and uh, make friends, many Japanese friends. And uh, in the future, I hope that you will uh, be become a bridge between the United States and Japan. The whatever, in whatever form uh, it is, the people-to-people -people exchanges will be the basis of strong and uh, friendly relations between the Japan and the United States. So I'd like to ask you to continue studying Japanese language. And uh, once again, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to all those who were involved in arranging this uh, speech contest. And uh, 
I wish all the participants all the best. 頑張ってください。Thank you, Patsy san and Consul General Murabayashi. As Consul General Murabayashi noted, the Texas Japanese Language Speech Contest would also not be possible without committed sponsors. Gratitude is owed to all of our sponsors the Japan Foundation, Los Angeles, Kino Kuniya, the Japan Business Association of Houston, the Japanese Association of Greater Houston, and the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas. Representing our sponsors on the judges' panel today are Hiro Matsumura, representing the Japanese Association of Greater Houston, Makiko Nemoto of Kintetsu International, representing the Japan Business Association of Houston, William Matsuzaki of All Saints Episcopal High School, representing the, sorry, <laughs> Japanese Teachers Association of Texas, Deputy Consul General Masaya Sagawa of the Consul Je Consulate General of Japan in Houston, and Shizuka Tatsuzawa of Oklahoma University, representing the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas. In addition, Mr. Shigekazu Watanabe, Regional Manager of Kinokuniya Bookstore, will be judging and providing the prize for the resurrected Open Division. Judges, Thank you for giving of your time and your talents. We would also like to thank our volunteers, Alex Flores, Yuki Nakata, Akinomi, Mia Rodriguez, and Kazuyuki Takahashi. In addition, special recognition goes to JASH board member and Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest Chairperson, Professor Hiroko Sato, Thank you, Sato Sensei, for your leadership. Last but not least, we would like to express our appreciation for all the parents and teachers that helped the contestants make it to today. Contestants, while you may not be able to see their faces while presenting today's contest, know that your teachers and your classmates are wishing you well. Good luck to the 2022 Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest participants! Minasan, gambate kudasai, oenchite imas! Minasan, gambate kudasai, oenchite imas! Minasan, gambate! Texas no Hongo Speech Contest no Sanka Stale Minasan, gambate kudasai! Nihon dewa, sakura ga saki ajme mas ka yo! Minasan! 頑張ってください皆さんテキサスの日本語のスピーチコンテストに参加してくれて誠にありがとうございます皆さんの動力に毎回毎回感動しています楽しく落ち着いてスピーチをしてくださいえっ、ー、と本当にえっ、ー、と皆さんありがとうございます頑張ってください応援しています頑張ってね、ファミちゃん。ファイティング。ファイティング。皆さん、集大会ご出場おめでとうございます。頑張ってください。応援してます。頑張ってくださいスピーチコンテストクラスメートのメッセージです頑張ってください楽しんでください楽しんでください簡単に勝つと思います頑張ってくださいとてもすごいスピーチは良かった頑張ってくださいスピーチは良かったですよ日本語が上手です頑張って日本語は上手です心配しないでください心配しないで天下を取るでは頑張ってください
みなさんこんにちは今日はスピーチコンテスト頑張ってください応援してますエラバートンさん頑張れフランスのみんなで応援していますスピーチコンテスト出場者の皆さん落ち着いてゆっくりとそして楽しんで発表してください頑張ってください応援していますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますおめでとうございますみわちゃん頑張ってね頑張ってね頑張れベアユ皆さん今日はいよいよ本番ですね今まで本当によく頑張ってきました今日は思いっきり楽しんでくださいはい息を吸って吐いて吸って吐いてうん大丈夫大丈夫頑張って応援してますでは Thank you to all the JTAP members and Texas students who send in messages of encouragement. With our competitors energized and ready to gambaru, we now turn to, competition, turn to the competition portion of today's event. The order of today's competition will be Division Three, Free Speech, High School, Aurora. Division One, Poetry. Division Two, Haiku. Division Four, Free Speech College and University level, and Division Five, the Free Speech Open Division. Contestants, in addition to remembering that there is a survey to complete,、hmm. da -da -da, do please keep a few points in mind as we begin. Please turn on your microphone and camera when your name is called. Introduce yourself. Before beginning, but please do not mention your school or your region. Between each contestant, our judges will take a moment to calculate scores. So we ask of our audience to please be patient. And after our contestant is finished, they, you will be instructed as to when to turn off your microphone and your camera. This concludes the opening ceremony. Now we will begin. Petition. First up is Division Three, Aurora High School Free Speech.、Check. Division Three, Free Speech High School Aurora contestants will be presenting speeches that they have written. We have eight contestants in this competition category, and our eight contestants are Shaina Albert, Adan Uri Anayim, Samuel Fisher. James Horsley, Hayagreev Jayaram, Camille Kutras, Eliana Moore, and Sarah Vu. After each contestant presents his or her speech, the judges will ask the contestants questions. Group one judges Matsumura san, Romanowicz sensei, and Tatsuzawa sensei. Please turn on your cameras. Nomi sensei, our timekeeper for the day, please turn your camera on as well. Okay. Waiting for word that we are good with our judges. Yes, here we are. Okay, contestant number one is Shaina Albert. Albert San's speech is titled The Magic of Writing and is about her relationship with writing and how it's developed over the years. She defines what makes writing so magical and later describes her journey to better health with writing in mind. Albert San, 
Please turn on your camera and microphone. Okay. I'll wait for you to and great. When you are ready, you may begin. ライティングです。ライティング、つまり物を書くことです。キャラクターを作ったり、物語の物体を考えたり、あらすじを考えたりすることはまるで宇宙冒険のように心が踊ります。ライティングは私の情熱です。将来私は小説家になりたいと思っ
<笑>最近読んだ本はどんな本ですか、うん、すみませんもう一度ゆっくりお願いします最近本読んだ本はどんな本ですか、うん、私は、うんたくさん、うんみみうん、すみません、うん、最近は、うん、意味は何,意味は何ですか最近は、えっ、ー、と、そうですね、この頃とか、えっ、ー、と、先週とか昨日とか。ああ。はい。はい。うん。私、私は、うん。ロマンスが好きです。あたくさんロマンスがファンタジーと、えー、読みます。うんはい、ありがとうございます。ありがとう。Thank you, judges, and thank you, Albert さん。Uh, Albert さん、you may turn off your camera and your microphone at this time. Okay. Our next contestant is Adan Uri Aniyam. Aniyam's speech is titled The Courage to Face Myself and is about the way in which quarantine, in addition to some new acquaintances, Influenced her self image. Her speech is an example of the transformative power of brand new experiences on one's personality and character. Aniyam san, please turn on your camera and microphone. みなさん、おはようございます。アダン・ウリ・アリアンと申します。本日の私のスピーチのタイトルは、自分に向き合えた勇気です。どうぞよろしくお願いします。2018年8月、高校生活が始まりました。私はその時、これから何が起こるのか全く想像もできませんでした。私は引っ込み思案な上に容量が悪いのです。ですから、高校生になっても親友と呼ばれる友達を作るなど無理だと最初から諦めていました。でも、そんな内気な私にも進んで声をかけてくれるクラスメイトがいました。そのクラスメイトのおかげで、私は少しずつ自分に自信が持てて他人に心が開けるようになりました。そんな順調だった高校生活も2020年春パンデミックとともに学校は突然オンラインになってしまいました。友達と離れて自宅で過ごす日々が始まりました。毎日毎日向き合う相手は友達ではなく自分です。悪夢のように聞こえるかもしれませんが、実は私にとってはこれはある意味で不幸中の幸いだったのです。どういうことかというと、じっくりと自分に向き合い、自分を見つめ直すチャンスに恵まれたのです。もちろん自分の間違いや欠点などを認めたくはありませんでした。でも、学校にいるときはわからなかった自分の姿に気がついたのです。私は周りのことばかり気にして、人に無理に合わせようとしたり、恥をかかないようにあれこれ気を使ったりしていました。私は自分自身に心を開いていなかったのです。2021年夏、高校最後の年が始まり、私はまた以前のように多くの人たちがいる学校に戻りました。1年半もオンライン授業で自宅で過ごしたため、最初は慣れるのに大変でした
。でも、以前のように周囲に認められようと焦ることはもうありません。私は自分の姿を受け入れ、固く閉ざされていた自分自身にも心が開けるようになりました。私に自信を与えてくれた友人たちに感謝するとともに、自分にきちんと向き合えたこの勇気をこれからも大切にしていきたいと思います。ご清聴ありがとうございました。Thank you, Aniyam さん。Please keep your camera and microphone on, and judges,、uh, please signal when you are ready to ask a question. Uh, yes, Judge Tatsuzawa. Pandemic Chuni, Ichiban Tahenda Tapotoa, Nandiska? Simmasen, Mo Ichido, Onegai Shimas. Pandemic no Ida, Ichiban Tahenda Tapotoa, Nandiska? Hi, Ichiban Tahenda Tapotoa, Tomodachini, Ayana Kata Kotodes. えー、自宅で一りぼっちでなんか友達と会う,会うことができなかったから悲しかったです。わかりました。Yes, Judge Romanovich. えっと、今、クラスメートと会うことができて、クラスメートと何をするのが一番楽しいですかはい。えっと、クラスメイトや友達と、えっと、遊びに行くことが好きです。例えば、えー、映画を見に行ったり、えっと、レストランへ食べに行ったりします。それはとても楽しくて、えー、パンデミックの時よりも、今の私はとても嬉しいです。はい、ありがとうございます。Yes, Judge Matsumura.、Uh, you are muted, sir. If you could please unmute. Sorry, I'm not sure. 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 You may now turn off your camera and your microphone. Thank you once again. Okay. Contestant number three will be Samuel Fisher.、Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. We need the time to tally the、okay. seats. Yeah. I will hold tight. Okay.、Uh, Judge Romanovich, are you ready to proceed? Judge Tatsuzawa? Sorry for rushing everybody.、Um, contestant number three will be Samuel Fitcher. Fitcher s a n s speech is titled Sport Where I Found Myself and is how, about how, after being introduced to Ultimate Frisbee in fifth grade, he quickly fell in love with the rules, spirit, and most importantly, the people. Fisher Stan, please turn on your camera and your microphone. All right. And when you are ready, sir, you may begin. I'm a Fisher to Moshimas. Onegaishimas. Jibun Sagashi no sports. Shogakse no soki, yoku, saka ya, amefuto ya, basket to baru, naro, shite mashta. あるとき、友達がおすすめがあるよと言いました。それはアルティメットフリーズビーというスポーツでした。私は全く初心者でしたが、すぐに夢中になりました。このスポーツの一番の魅力は
誰でも楽しめることです。スポーツを全然知ったことがない人も、スポーツが得意で新しいことをしてみたい人も、誰でも気軽に始められます。それから、このスポーツはちょっとユニークで、審判がいません。だから、みんなが誠実じゃなければ楽しめないスポーツです。えっと、えっと、あスピリットというルールを守りますいつ。いつもです。えっと、例えば、ルールの違反があれば、みんなで話し合います。また、ゲームの後で、みんなで一緒にスピリットサークルで、集まってお互いのプレイを称え合います。このスポーツのスピリットをいつもとても誇りに思っています。私は学校のリーグや市内のトーナメントや夏のキャンプなどに参加しました。だからこのスポーツすみません。だから、このスポーツを通して、たくさんの仲間を作ることができました。アルティメットフリーズビーは私の青春です。です以上です。ありがとうございました。OK。Thank you, Fisher さん。And、uh, please stay with us with your microphone on, and we're going to await questions from our judges. Judges, please let me know when you are ready.、Uh, yes, Judge Matsumura. This frisbee is a very important thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm s o 競技をするんでしょうか。お、oh, えっと、あ、えっと、七、七人、あ、は、遊びます。あ、七人ですね。はい、ありがとうございます。Yes, Judge Romanovich. あ、you're muted。フリスビーの他に。何か好きなスポーツはありますかえっとあ、サッカーは一番あフリスビーの他のスポーツが好きです。はい、ありがとうございます。あジャッジ達沢。このスポーツはジャッジがいないそうですが、みんなで話し合って決められないときは、どうするんですかあすみません。あもう一度ゆっくりお願いします、うん。このスポーツはジャッジがいませんね。はい、いませんね。はい。いやいやジ,ャッジ,がジャッジがいなくて、みんなで話し合って決めますが、決まらないときはどうするんですかえっと、あきあ決まれないの意味は何ですか、うん、ジャージがいないからみんなでジャージするんですね。はい。みんなでジャージをしてみんなが意見が同じではないときはどうしますかあす,みすみません。わかりません。はい。だいえよろしいです。Thank you, judges, and thank you, Fisher san.、Um, Fisher san, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. And, judges, if you would please just give me a, a thumbs up whenever you are done.、Uh, notes for this round. Okay, all right. Let's see you, son. Hi. Testing number four 
is going to be James Horsley. Horsley's son speech is titled The Winter Storm and is about his experience during the winter storm and the challenges he faced. Later, he reflects on the importance that electricity has in our everyday lives. Horsley son, please turn on your camera and your microphone. And when you are ready, you may begin. はい。え、こんにちは。でも、次の日、自体は一変してしまいました。もちろん、学校が休みになりました。道がこって、車が使えないので、私のうちは停電してしまいました。電気が使えないので、何もすることができませんでした。コンピューターもテレビも、電話を、電話をチャージすることもできませんでした。え、ストーブも冷蔵庫も使えないので私たちはえ、前の日に作ったケーキを食べたり、ラジオでニュースを聞いたり過ごしました。夜はろうそくがないと何も見えないので とても不安でした。次の日、電気が、電気が使えるようになりましたが、え、この景観で学んだことがあります。うん。電気が使えないと普通の生活は全くできなくなってしまうということです。電化製品だけではありません。例えば、ストーブも新ストーブや信号も動きません。えっと私たちは毎日の生活の中でたくさん電気を使っています。そして世界には私たちのように電気が使えない人たちがたくさんいます。これまで当たり前だった電気。でも、これからはもっと大切使っていこうと思います。以上です。ありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you, Horsley Sun. And uh, please keep your camera and microphone on. We're going to await questions from our judges. Yes, that's the one. とても寒いでした。エアコンがない。ありがとうございます。あ、ジャドロマノウィッチ。はい、えっと、雪が降ったと言っていましたね。雪が降った時、雪で遊びましたか。はい、遊びました。楽しいでした。はい、何をしましたか。えっと、雪合戦しました。そうですか、ありがとうございます。Okay. Hey, 
。あ、電気は、電気が止まったんですが、いつ頃復旧しましたか何日頃何日後に、えー、すみません。もう一度、ゆっくりお願いします。停電は何日ぐらいで普通になりましたか日、日、日、と、朝、朝でした。えー、す,みすみません。はい、ありがとうございます。Thank you, judges, and thank you, Horsley san.、Uh, Horsley san,、uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. Thank you once again. Judges, please just give me some kind of a signal when you are ready to proceed. It's two. Okay. Contestant number five is Hayagri Jayaram. Jayaram's speech is titled Similarities Between Indian and Japanese Cultures. It is about the various ways in which the Indian and Japanese cultures have similarities. Jayaram san, please turn on your camera and microphone. You should feature your show. And you may begin when you are ready, sir. Hi, Mina san. Hajime mo shite. Hayagri to mo shimas. どうぞよろしくお願いいたします。私のスピーチのタイトルは、インドと日本の文化の類似点。これから、インドと日本の文化の類似点についてお話ししたいと思います。日本人は、階級や立場によって、敬語を使い分けます。例えば、日本人は、さんや先生と訳いますね。これらの言葉は、人の名前の後に行って尊敬を表すために使われます。インドでも人は敬語を使うので、G やパンディットやシュリーなどの言葉はとても普通です。G の言葉は日本語でサンと同じで、パンディットの言葉は先生のと同じです。例えば、山田 G というと、山田さんの意味があって、パンデッ、ヤマダと言ったら、ヤマダ先生ですね。これは面白いと思いませんかそして、どちらの文化も謙虚です。日本人は、お年寄りに尊敬を表すことに重点を置いています。日本、インドでは、祝福のために、えっ、ー、と、お年寄りの足に触ることで尊敬を表します。日本では、えー、っと、お辞儀やおもてなしは大切ですね。インドでは人々は手のひらを合わせて頭を下げてナマステと言います。実はナマステはお辞儀をするという意味です。さらにどちらも遠慮を表します。例えば日本ではお茶を勧めるとき、えっと、お客様は大抵、いえいえと言いますね。インドでもお茶を勧めるとき、まず人は遠慮した後にお茶を飲みます。最後に、日本とインドの文化はかなり保守的です。えっと、公の場で、えっと、公の場で愛情を表すことは、インドではすべきではないと考えられています。だから、インドにいたとき、キスやハグは珍しいことでした。これは日本でも同じで、愛情表現はプライベートです。じゃあ、皆さんの文化にと、皆さんの文化と日本人の文化に何か類似点はありますか教えてください。ご清聴ありがとうございました。Hey, thank you, j a y a r a m さん。And please stay with us as we await questions from our judges. Yes, Judge Tatsuzawa. Nihon no bunka to America no bunka to Nanga Ichiban Chigao to Moimaska. So that's ne. Eto Nihon deva eto ano. 何か違ってる時は日本人はいえいえと曖昧
に言います。でも、アメリカでは、はいえっと、家ははっきり言いますね。それはとても違いますと。違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違う、違もう一度ゆっくりお願いします。はい、ヤナムさんが何かお茶でもこう進められると遠慮しますか。いえいえとおっしゃいますか。はい、そうですね。それは一定の丁寧と思って遠慮することはとても大切なことと思います。インドの文化ではあの遠慮するのはとても大切なので、私にとってはそれはとても大切です。ありがとうございました。And the judge Romanovich. あの敬語を勉強しているとなんですが、日本語の敬語は簡単ですか難しいですかえっと、英語と日本と、えっと、比べて、日本,の日本語の方がえっと、敬語はとても難しいと思います。なぜなら、えっと、いろいろな、えっと、さんや先生や、えっと、敬語をたくさん使うので、とえっと、覚えて、それは正しい状況で使うのはとても難しいと思います。はい、ありがとうございます。Okay. Uh, arigato gozaimasu, judges, and thank you also, Jairam san.、Uh, you may now turn off your camera and your microphone. And, judges, I'll give you a few moments to compile your notes. All right. Contestant number six is Camille Kutras. Kutras san's speech is titled Life Changing Fashion. It is about her struggles with confidence in the past and fear of standing out, and how Harujuku fashion has changed her entire perspective. It gave her the courage to learn, to live for herself, and wear what makes her happy. Kutras san, please turn on your camera and your microphone. Hello. When you are ready, you may begin. Hajime Maste, Watashiwa Kamil Kutras to Moshimas. Korekara, Jinse Kawari no fashion ni Tsuite Hanashimas. Yosko Nagashimas. Mukashikara, Watashiwa fashion to Tsunagari o Kanji de Ite, Zito Ski de Sta. Tokuni, Nihondo fashion no Nakade, Harajiku ga Ichiba no Moshiro i Tomimas. Soko de Fashion no Kisoko Yaburu Koto. ハラジクはいろんなスタイルが生み出されたバショです。例えば、私が一番大好きなのはロリータです。ロリータは1990年に現れて、すごく可愛くて人形みたいなスタイルです。大事な特性はフリルとかレースとかカップケーキな白へと
。でも、その経験のおかげで、大切なことにやっと気づきました。人生は短いです。やりたいことをやらないと時間がなくなります。だから、どんどん日常的にドリートを切ることを決めました。最初にはもちろん他の人と全然違う服を着るのが難しかったです。でも他の人の意見は私には関係ないとだんだん思いました。他の人のために生きていません。自分のために生きています。だからやりたいことをやります。そうすると人生は良くなるように変わります。では皆さんお願いがあります。自分の好きな服を着てください。そして自分の好きな人になってください。以上ですあり,ありがとうございました。Thank you, Kutra san.、Uh, please stay with us and we're going to wait on questions from our judges. That is whenever you're ready.、Uh, yes, Judge Romanovich. はい、えー、今日とてもかわいい服を着ていますね。えー、と<笑>今日の服を着ていて、今どんな気持ちですかまあか、こんなにかわいい服を着て。聞くとなんか嬉しい気持ちがするだからも,もっとまあ前より私は最近もっと明るくなりましたはいありがとうございます Yes, ちょっと質問が質問があります一つは原宿にもう行ったことがありますか<笑>残念、残念ですけど、まだ行,くと行,行ったことありませんです。まあ、今の状況で、あと外国,外国人は日本で旅行できませんけど、まあ、あと数ヶ月ぐらいで,できますかなって思っていますけど、今わかりません。うん、2つ目です、えー。自分の好きな服を着てくださいって言ってましたけど、はい、インタビューに行くとか、仕事に行くとか、その場にあった服装も大切なことがあります。それはどう思いますかまあやっぱりインタビューとか仕事とかまあ社会はあんまりそんなことなんかもし私はドリズを仕事できたら多分なんかダメだと言われますね。それ,それは残念ですけど社会はまだまだそのなんかその許されるときにまだ来てません。それは残念だと思います。ありがとうございます。Yes, and Judge Matsumura. そしたらそういうロリータファッションは自分どこでそのロリータファッションの着るものを調達されるんですかえっ、ー、と、私、まあ一般的に学校でとか買い物と,買い物とか友達に友達とと遊んだりとか、そ,そこでドリ,ートファドリーターファッションを着ます。で、自分で洋服は作られるんですかあ少し、少し作られて、少し買います。はい、ありがとうございます。Okay. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Kutra san.、Uh, Kutra san, you may turn off your camera and your microphone, and I will await our judges before proceeding. All right. Contestant number seven is Eliana Moore. Moore san's speech is titled How to Fold Peace. It is about how she believes that, like 1,000 paper cranes, connects people together for wishing for peace and help. So, too, can people come together to make a more peaceful world. And if we gather people with the same sentiments, we can become beautiful and strong. Moore san, please turn on your camera and your microphone. All right, and when you are ready, ma'am, you may begin. おはようございます。モア、エリアナです。どうぞよろしくお願いします。スピーチのタイトルは、平和の折り方です。皆さん、千バズルを知っていますか千バズルは、折り紙で折ったつるを、千バつなげたものです。家族や友達が、重い病気になったら早く病気が治るように
心を込めて作ります。私は千バズルにはもう一つ大事な意味があると思います。ある晩、私はコロナで世界が変わってしまったことに不安になりながら机で一人座っていました。なんとなく引き出しの中のものを見ていると、昔自分が作った折り鶴がいっぱい入った箱を見つけました。その箱を開けて折り紙の鶴をつなげてみると、頭の中の不安がなくなる気がしました。千バズルで有名な被爆者の少女、佐々木沙子さんのように折り紙の鶴を一つ一つ糸と針でつないでいきました。つなげた折り鶴を見ていると平和な感じがしました。かわいい色の折り鶴や、きれいに折られた折り鶴や、ぐちゃぐちゃに折られた折り鶴、ちょっと破れた折り鶴、ちょっと汚れた折り鶴。見た目はいろいろですが、一本の同じ糸でつながれています。まるで一緒に羽ばたくチャンスを待っているかのようです。私の千バズルは、世界中の人々のようにも見えます。私たちの見た目は、私の折り鶴のように少しずつ違います。しかし、人と折り鶴で違った点があります。それは、他の人とつながりたくない人がいることです。そのような人は、一人で何でもしようとしますが、一人でできないことが必ずあります。だから、糸で折り鶴をつなぐように、私たちの言葉と行動で、人と人をつないで強くなれるということを世界中の皆さんに伝えたいと思います。もし将来のことで悩んでいる人がいれば、私はこう伝えたいです。世界は自分が思っているほど怖くない。世界には美しいことがたくさんある。そして人と人とのつながりを毎日増やしていけば、もっと平和な世界になる。同じ思いを持った人が集まれば、千羽鶴のように美しく強くなれる力がある。私は平和へのあり方が世界中に広まればいいなと思います。ありがとうございました。Hey, thank you, Morrison. Please stay with us. We're going to await questions from our judges. Yes, Judge Tatsuzawa. あの、これまでに鶴をいくつぐらい作りましたかえっと、今日まで、えっと、たぶん300ぐらいかかりました。がかかりましたじゃないです。いくつぐらい作りましたかはい、300ぐらい作りました。おあの<笑>鶴を折りながらどんなことを考えますかどんなことを考えながら鶴を折りますかえっと、鶴を折るときに、ああ、綺麗だなと思います。そして、もう一つ思いがあります。えっと、お鶴を折るときに、えっと、折り鶴の翼に平和を書きます。平和を祈っています。Yes, Judge Romanovich. A Sasaki Sadako san no Hanasio Shimastaga, Sasaki Sadako san no O Hanasio Yomi Mastaka. Hi, et Hajimeta Hajimete Shirutoki wa et Shogak Rokinense de Stap. Do Moi Mastaka Kanashi Monogatari de Skedo, et Sasaki Sadako san wa. その大変な時に希望を信じていました。それその物語は感動しました。はい、ありがとうございます。ジャッジマツムラ、did you have a question? はい。
と一緒に折り紙の鶴を折りますあ,あそうですありがとうございますそしてえっと教室の壁に千羽鶴があります千羽鶴の折り鶴は私が作りましたはいありがとうございます OK Thank you, judges. Thank you, War San.、Um, War San, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. Judges, please let me know when you are ready to proceed. I believe I've received word from all of our judges. And so, our final contestant of Division Three. Is Sarah Vu. Vu San's speech is titled I Re- What I Regret the Most. It is a story of regret that she experienced after her grandmother had a heart attack and a realization of how painful it was to lose someone who cares for her. Vu San, I see your camera is on. Please unmute your microphone. And when you are ready, you may begin. よろしくお願いします。私が一番後悔していること。皆さんの最大後悔は何ですか私にとっての後悔は家族のことを大切にしなかったことです。小学生の時に祖母は私と弟の面倒を見てくれました。私たちは学校に来るまで送り迎えしてくれました。私たちは後ろの席でいつもうるさく遊んでいました。祖母はいつもちゃんと座ってね。と私たちに言っていました。でも私も弟も祖母の話をじっとも聞いていませんでした。ある日、学校に行く途中、祖母は私と弟と横断歩道を降りていました。いきなり、祖母は自学の標識を掴んで詰まりました。私は少し驚いたけれど、疲れているだけだと思いました。でも気がかかったので、私は学校に着いてから母に電話しました。しかし、数時間後、私は先生に呼ばれ、おばあちゃんが心臓発作を起こして、今病院で立っておくっているよ、と言われました。心臓がドキドキし、恐怖でいっぱいになりました。祖父に何かあったらどうしよう。もっとすぐに祖父のことを気遣うべきだったと、本当に後悔しました。家に帰ったとき、とても空っぽな感じがしてなりませんでした。祖父の映画も、祖母の作ってくれる料理の匂いも何もなかったからです。弟は私に、おばあちゃんはどこと聞きました。けれど、私は言葉が喉に詰まって何も言えませんでした。しばらくして、父が託し、私たちを病院に連れて行ってくれました。私はずっと言葉が表せないほどの罪悪感を感じていました。でも、病院に入ると、祖母はとても明るい美顔で、セラ、元気学校でちゃんと勉強してたと聞いてきました。その時の祖母の笑顔と声にほっとさせられ、泣きながら帰ったことが覚えています。そしてその時と、家族の大切さを実感したことはありませんでした。祖母の体調にすぐに気づかなかったことは、私にとっての最大後悔です。祖母は今もとても元気です。毎日祖母と一緒に料理をしたり、薬を取ることを忘れないように声をかけています。週末は祖父とよく一緒にレストランをします。祖父との時間は私にとってとても,とても幸せなことで一番大切なものでもあると実感しています。皆さんも後悔しないよう家族のことを大切にしてください。ありがとうございます。Okay. Thank you, Vu さん。Please stay with us and we are going to wait on questions from our judges. Yes, Judge Romanovich, please unmute. Oba san to Leorio Tsukuru to Imasta Keredo, Oba san to Nani o Ishoni of Tsukurimaska? So, this ne, et so wa Chuko Jin Descara to Taksano Chuko no Leorio Tsukurimas. To to ever. 麺とかとスープとかと餃子などを一緒に作ります。実は私は料理が苦手苦手です。でも祖母は上手なので一緒に作って料理は美味しいと思います。はい、ありがとうございます
、uh, Judge Tatsuzawa さん。これから将来、おばあさんと何を一番してみたいと思いますか将来、ヘンデミックが終わったから、えっ、ー、と、日本に見に行きたいです。例えば、えっ、ー、と、京都の祇園祭りに,に,に見に行きたいです。おばあさんは日本語がわかりますかいや、全然わかります。わかりません。えでも、私は中国語が話しますから、すぐと中国語を話します。じゃあ、通訳で旅行に行けますね。<笑>はい。Judge Matsumura, did you have a question? Yes. Wu さんは日本語は何年ぐらい勉強されてるんですか ?2 年半ぐらい勉強,して勉強していますと思います。ありがとうございます。とても面白い勉強してます。いはい、漢字もそしたら書けるんですか私は中国人です。だから、漢字が少し覚えて、覚えることが少し簡単なので、漢字が大好きです。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。Hey, thank you, judges. Thank you, Busan. This concludes Division 3 Free Speech High School Aurora. We are now going to turn to Division 1. Which is our poetry division. Our Division I contestants will be reciting the poem Te no Hira o Taio ni by Yanase Takashi. There are eight contestants in this competition category. The eight contestants are Habib Abiodun, Isabella Gonzalez, Cassie Kircher. Kevin Luo, Man Nilian, Evelyn Tial, Jerry Zam, and Joshua Zuniga. After each contestant recites the poem, we will allow the judges a bit of time to score. Group two judges Matsuzaki Sensei, Nemoto san, and Sagawa san. Please turn on your cameras. Okay. All right. Our first contestant today will be Habib Abiodun. Please turn on your camera and your microphone. Thank you, sir. And when you are ready, you may begin. Minasan, Minasan, Hajime Mashte, Boku no Namaiwa, Abi Abiodun des, Dozo, Yoroshko Negashimas. てのひらを太陽にやなせたかし。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから歌うんだ。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから悲しんだ。てのひらを太陽にすかしてみれば、真っ赤に流れる僕の獅子よ。ミミズだって。オケラだって、アメンボだって、みんなみんな生きているんだ、友達なんだ。以上です。ありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you, Abi Odun san. We will now give our judges a few moments to finish their scoring. And judges, when you are scoring, please raise your hand. Abi Odun san, you've already done so. Thank you for turning off your camera. Please mute your microphone.
Okay. It's not lucky we were, okay. All right, moving on. Contestant number two is Isabella Gonzalez. Please turn on your camera and your microphone. All right, and when you are ready, you may begin. おはようございます。ゴンザレス・イサベラです。どうぞよろしくお願いします。手のひらを太陽に柳瀬隆。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから歌うんだ。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから悲しいんだ。手のひらを
みんなみんな生きているんだ。友達なんだ。ありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you, Nili and San.、Uh, please mute yourself and turn off your camera. We're going to give our judges a moment to consider and then we will move ahead. Yes. All right. Contestant number six is Evelyn Tiong. Please turn on your camera and microphone. All right. Welcome. And when you are ready, you may begin. Konnichiwa, Evelyn Tiong. Yoroshiku, onegai shimas. Teno hiro, tayo ni yanase takashi. 僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから歌うんだ。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから悲しいんだ。手のひらを太陽に透かしてみれば、真っ赤に流れる僕の血潮。ミミズだって、オケラだって、アメンボだって、みんな、みんな生きているんだ。友達なんだ。ありがとうございました。Thank you, t i a l s a n We are now going to give our judges time to consider their scoring, so please mute yourself and turn off your camera. n e m o t o s a n are you ready to proceed? Okay.、Uh, contestant number seven is Jerry z a m Please turn on your camera and microphone. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. You may begin when you are ready. Hajime Mashte, Watashi no Namaiwa, Jerry z a m des. Dozo Yoroshku on a guy shimas. Teno Hira o. 太陽にやらせたかし。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから歌うんだ。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから悲しいんだ。手のひらを太陽に透かしてみれば真っ赤に流れる。僕の獅子よ。ミミズだって、オケラだって、アメンボだって。みんな、みんな、生きてるんだ。友達なんだ。ありがとうございました。Thank you very much, Sansan. Please mute yourself, turn off your camera, and judges, please let me know when you are finished considering your scores. Okay. All right. Thank you.、Uh, we're going to move on to contestant number eight, who is Dashua Zuniga. Zuniga san, please turn on your camera and microphone. Okay, when you are ready, sir, you may begin. Ohayo gozaimas. Watashi wa zuni ga joshito desu. Dozo yoroshiku negaishimas. Teno hira wo taiyo ni yanase takashi. 
僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから歌うんだ。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから悲しいんだ。手のひらを太陽に透かしてみれば、真っ赤に流れる僕の血潮。ミミズだって、オケラだって、アメンボだって、みんなみんな生きているんだ。友達なんだ。ありがとうございました。OK。Thank you, Zuniga さん。Please turn off your camera and mute your volume.、Uh, judges, please let me know when you are finished. And I believe our contestant, Cassie Kircher, has returned. Can you hear us OK? Yes. Great. Thank you so much. I appreciate your patience. Yes. Just to let our judges finish up, and I will call upon you shortly. Okay, okay. All right.、Uh, Kircher san, if you are with us, please turn on your camera and your volume. All right. And you may begin when you are ready. Konnichiwa. Watashi no nawewa Cassie Kircher das. Dozo yoroshiku onegashimas. Seno hero tayo ni yanase takashi. 僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから歌うんだ。僕らはみんな生きている。生きているから悲しんだ。手のひらを太陽に透かしてみれば、真っ赤に流れる僕の血潮。ミミズだって、オケラだって、アメンボだって。みんなみんな生きているんだ。友達なんだ。ありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you very much, k u r t u r s a n And this will conclude Division 1. Our Division II contestants will be sharing haiku poems that they have created based on inspiration taken from four classic haiku poems, which represent the four seasons. You will find the classic, the classic haiku on your screen now. First, our contestants will recite one of four classic haiku two times. Following their second recitation, they will explain why this haiku was inspirational to them. And finally, Our contestants will recite their own original haiku once again twice. There are eight contestants in this competition category, and our eight contestants are Soliana Amlax, Dania Guelike, Isel Jimenez, Yue Lu, Nara Monreal, Rebecca Scaramuzzi, Lauren Tippin, and Emma Wang. After each contestant presents their own original haiku, we will allow the judges a bit of time to score. Group one judges are Matsumura san, Romana Witch Sensei, and Tatsuzawa Sensei.、Uh, please turn on your cameras. Fantastic. And we do have a、uh, schedule change. Our first contestant is going to be Lauren Tippin.、Uh, Lauren San, please turn on your camera and your microphone. Okay, Lauren San, when you are ready, you may begin. Ohayo gozaimasu. Lauren Tippin desu. Yoroshiku, o n e g a i s h i m a s 古い毛や飼わず飛び込む水の音松尾芭蕉古い毛や飼わず飛び込む水の音松尾芭蕉 When I read Basho's haiku, the tranquility of the old pond reminds me of the peace before the pandemic days. The frog's leap signals The change in the air and the sound of the water splash awakens me to the new beginning and recovery that this spring can bring again. My haiku is about using the first strong winds of the spring to chase away the evil virus. Then the world will ring the bells in celebration of the old peace that has returned. Haru no kaze, corona, oidashi. 
春の風、コロナ、追い出し、鐘の音。ありがとうございました。Thank you very much, t i p p i n s a n If you would please go ahead and turn off your camera and mute yourself, our judges will proceed with、uh, scoring and we will move on to our next contest. Judges, once again, I'll ask you to please just raise your hand or give me a signal that you are finished. That's one, two, and three. All right. Our next contestant is Soliana Amlax. Amlax san, please turn on your camera and microphone. Welcome. When you're ready, you may begin. Ohayo gozaimas. Soliana Amlax des. Dozo yoroshiku onegai shimas. Umaso na yuki ga. ふうわり、ふうわりかな、小林一茶。うまそうな、雪がふうわり、ふうわりかな、小林一茶。この俳句は、私の子供の頃、雪と遊んだ思い出を思い出させてくれました。コロラードへの家族旅行で見た雪は、真っ白でふわふわしていました。地面に落ちた雪は粉砂糖のように見えました。冷たくて美味しかったです。それは楽しい子供の頃の思い出です。思い出の雪は甘いよ、粉砂糖。思い出の雪は甘いよ、粉砂糖。ありがとうございました。Okay, thank you very much, Amalak-san.、Um, you may turn off your camera and your microphone, and our judges will take a few moments to finish their scoring. Judges, once again, please raise your hand when you are finished with your grading. All right. All right. Our next contestant is Gania Uelike. Uelike san, please turn on your camera and microphone. When you are ready, you may begin. Konnichiwa, Gania Uelike des. Dozo Yoroshiku, Onegashimas. Furuikea Kawasu Topikumu Mizu no Oto. Matsuo Basho Furuikea Kawasu Topikumu Mizuno Oto Matsuo Basho Watashiwa Haruni Ukokidas Toputsuo Mirunoga Sukina no de Kono Haiku o Erabimashita Kumawa Domintara Mezame Toriwa Haruno Yurokovio Sorai Pai ni Hyogenchimas そんな春を思い出させてくれるのがこの場所の句です。場所は変えるが息に飛び込む音を聞いて春の喜びを感じたのだと思います。私も自分の春の喜びを俳句に歌ってみました。春の朝、さえずる鳥に目を覚ます。春の朝、さえずる鳥に目を覚ます。ありがとうございました。Okay, thank you, Elike san.、Uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone.、Uh, judges, please let me know when you have finished your scoring. Okay, okay, all right. Next contestant is Isel Jimenez. Jimenez san, please turn on your camera and microphone. All right. When you are ready, you may begin. Ohayo gozaimas. Isel Jimenez des. Onegaishimas. 
I am originally from Costa Rica, and during the rainy season, which is also the winter season, the rain of the heavy, uh, the sound of the heavy storms on the metal roof is very relaxing and tranquil. And I found this tone to be present in Matsuo Basho's poem. And so I wanted to convey this in my own poem um, by also combining it with one of my childhood memories from when I used to live in Costa Rica. Costa Rica, Totania ni utsu, uki no oto. Costa Rica, Totania ni utsu, uki no oto. Okay, thank you, Jimenez san. Please turn off your camera and mute your microphone. And judges, please let me know when you have finished your consideration. Okay, all right. Our next contestant is Yue Lu. Lu San, please turn on your camera and your microphone. Okay, and you may begin whenever you are ready. Hajimemashite, watashi wa Yue Lu desu. Dozo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Meigetsu wo totte kureru to なくこうかな。小林いさ。名月を取ってくれろと泣く子かな。私は小さい頃はとっても泣き虫で些細なことでよく泣いていました。秋の俳句で泣いている子供に共感し、子供の頃 残り半分を食べるのを待っている母と一緒に柿を味わった。楽しい時間を思い出しました。秋の俳句のように懐かしくて遊び心のある言葉で自分の子供時代を表現してみようと思いました。柿の味。早く食べろ。Thank you very much, Lu San. Now you may turn off your camera and mute your microphone. And judges, please signal me once you have completed your score. Okay. All right. Our next contestant is Rebecca Scaramucci. Scaramucci san, please turn on your camera and your microphone. When you are ready, you may begin. Konnichiwa. Watashi no name wa Rebecca Scaramucci desu. Onegai shimasu. Furui ke ya kawaze tobikomu mizu no oto. Matsuo Basho Furui Keya Kowazu Tobikomu Mizu no Oto Matsuo Basho. This poem gave me a sense of peace and quiet that I tried to replicate in my own poem. I don't really like going outside, but a lot of times in the springs, me and my family will go on hikes to see the flowers and the butterflies. It gives me the same sense of peace that I feel in this poem with the sound of the frogs jumping into the water because it allows me to take a break from the stress of and the constant noise and need to be on electronic devices. Zanpo michi, cho ga hira hira, hito yasumi. Zanpo michi, cho ga hira hira, hito yasumi. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, Sarabuchi-san. We will now give our judges a moment to consider their scoring. 
Uh, if you your camera, please just make sure you have muted your microphone as well. Okay. All right. Our next contestant is Emma Wang. Thanks, Song. Please turn on your camera and your microphone. Oh, hello. I can't turn on my video because it says uh, you can't start your video. Okay, never mind. Thank you. There you are. Okay, welcome, Emma. Um, when you are ready, you may begin. Minasan, konnichiwa. Emma Wang des. Yoroshiku onegai shimas. Matsuo basho. Furu ikea. Kawazu tobi komu. Mizu no to. Furu ikea. Kawazu tobi komu. Mizu no to. Watashi ni tote haru wa. Hewa to. Atarashi hajimari o imi shimas. Kono ki sets ni wa. Kusabana no haeta o kaya. Utskushi fuke o yoku denso shimas. Basho no haiku wa. Furu ike no shizuke sa o hyogen shite imas. Onaji yomi. Non bili toshita. Noro kana kanji o haiku ni shite mimashita. Wakakusa ya. Yureru yanagi ni kogawarai. Wakakusa ya yureru yanagi ni kogawarai. Kosecho arigato gozaimashita. Thank you very much, Wang San. Uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone, and judges, I await your signal. Okay. Yes. All right. So now we will proceed to our final contestant in the haiku category, uh, Nara Monreal. Monreal san, please turn on your camera and microphone. Excuse me. It says I can't turn on my mic. Um, oh. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> and you may begin when you are ready. Ohayo gozaimasu. Watashi wa Monrealu Nara desu. Dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Furu ike ya kawazu tobikomu mizu no oto. Matsuo basho. Furu ike ya kawazu tobikomu mizu no oto. Matsuo basho. Upon reading this poem, I pictured a calming scene. So quiet, you can hear a frog jumping in a nearby pond. I fondly recounted a memory spent with my brothers many springs ago. We would spend hours catching butterflies, running around, almost out of breath. I wrote this poem to reflect the intense focus our eyes had on the butterflies admiring the beauty of nature. Ikikirashi, chou toru sugata, me wo hosome. Ikikirashi, chou toru sugata, me wo hosome. Arigato gozaimashita. Okay, thank you very much, Monterey Alsan. Uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. Uh, judges, please let me know when you have completed your scoring. All right. So this will conclude Division Two. Thank you so much for presenting. Judges, thank you as well. And that concludes Division 2. Participants, thank you very much for presenting. And contestants, 
Uh, oh, no, I am <laughs> going backwards in time in my script. All right, everyone may now turn their cameras off and the next competition category will begin shortly. Division four speech college and university contestants will be presenting speeches that they have written. The, there are seven contestants in this competition category and the seven contestants are Ella Barton, James Dalton, Jaylene Fabi, Vanessa Huynh, Angela Liu, Remy Navarre, I'm sorry, Navaretta, and Niwa Stowers. After each contestant presents his or her speech, the judges will ask the contestants questions. Group two judges, Matsuzaki Sensei, Nemoto san, and Sagawa san, please turn on your cameras. Nomi Sensei, our timekeeper, please turn on your camera as well. All right, everyone is here, so we are ready to begin. Contestant number one is Ella Barton. Barton Sun's speech is titled My Superpower, Synesthesia, and is about synesthesia, good and bad points to it, and how it affects those who have it. Barton Sun, please turn on your camera and your microphone. Okay, and once you are on screen, All right, welcome, and you may begin whenever you are ready. Ella Barton, to mention, please. Yes, I will. Today, I will talk about my experience with sensory perception. Have you ever heard of sensory perception? Sensory perception is a process of the brain that is caused by the stimuli in daily life. It is called sensory perception because it is a special kind of sensory perception. 世界に約2000人に一人は共感覚があると言われています。次に私が持っている3種類の共感覚を説明したいと思います。一番目に色調共感覚を説明したいと思います。このタイプは音を聞くと色が見えます。例えば、バイオリンを弾くとき、音階によって音楽の色と気分が変わります。二番目のタイプは色文字共感覚です。これは特定の色を文字と数字に適用するというものです。例えば、漢字の学生では書き順や読み方を学ぶときに漢字の色を覚えます。でも、このタイプは時々私にとって数学を少し難しくしてしまいます。各数字には色があって、いくつかは似ているので、指揮をしているときよく混乱しています。だから、色鉛筆を使って、私は混乱しないように異なる色で指揮を書きます。日本語もこの方法で覚えています。最後のタイプは、ミラタチという共感覚です。ミラタチのある人は、他人が顔を慣れられるのを見ると、実際には触っていなくても自分も顔を慣れられているように感じます。大抵人々は私はスーパーパワーを持っているようでそれは本当にかっこいいと言います。しかし怖くて暴力的な番組を見ることができなく医学的なことを聞いたり話したりすると気分が悪くなります。それに私はいつも単にの感覚を感じてしまいます。でも楽観的に考えればミラたちは私をもっと共感的な人にさせてくれました共感覚は悪い面もいい面も両方あり今日の私を作ってくれましたでも共感覚が私を制御させませんもしかしたら前友達が言った言葉が正しいかもしれませんね共感覚は自分の特別なスーパーパワーを持っているようなものですご清聴ありがとうございました。Okay, and thank you too, Barton san.、Uh, please keep your camera and your microphone on.、Um, we're going to await questions from our judges. Okay, yes, Judge Matsuzaki. 
いつから共感があると分かりましたかあそうですね多分全以上この状態があると思いますけど14歳までに、えー、気づなかったですありがとうございますはいありがとうございましたはい、えっと、えー、同じく共感覚を持っている人とか友達とかそういう方はいらっしゃいますかはい、います。えっと、その友達も、えっと、同じ共感覚のタイプがあります。色調共感覚と色文字共感覚もあります。はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございました。Okay. And Judge Nemoto. 日本語を覚えるときもえ色を使うっておっしゃってたんですが、どんな色をが、を使ってるんでしょうかあ、そうですね。えっと、例えば、えっと、覚えるの動詞、えー、の例は、えっと、覚えるの漢字は、覚えの漢字は、黄色とピンクの色があります。そして、例えば私が、えっ、ー、と、テストをするとき、その漢字を覚えなくてはなりませんとき、えっ、ー、と、その色は何でしたかあ、そうですね。黄色とピンクの色がありましたから、えっ、ー、と、今書きます。その方法で覚えています。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。あ、すみません、ミュートしてます。Thank you very much. I knew I was going to make that mistake at least once today. Go for two later on.、Um, our second contestant is James Dalton.、Uh, Dalton's son speech is titled Wordplay, and it's about two aspects of Japanese that can give rise to comprehension difficulties and misunderstanding for language learners, namely homonyms and regional dialects. Uh, James Dalton, would you please turn on your camera and your microphone? All right. And once you are featured in our panel, yes, you may begin whenever you are ready. James Dalton to Moshimos. Yoroshiko Nagai Toshimos. Kotoba Sobi. Dono Genga Yorimo, Yongo Niwa, Doni Gogo Oyodas. So stay, Penkyo Silva Silhodo, Makarias Knaru, Waki de Rimosan. それにもかかわらず、楽しくなるのではないでしょうかなぜかというと、言葉スピーの能力が上がるからです。私にとってその理由で言語まるで芸術です。もちろん、ちゃんと発音すれば大丈夫なんですが、酒が欲しいというと、魚は出されないでしょう魚といえば、声はどうですか声は好きですか好きになったから声を。感じていますか恋しい声が見えないから、泉に恋しを投げますかこれだけではなく、他の問題もあります。アメリカにも方言があるんですが、日本の方言と全然違います。日本には47の方言があるそうです。でも、私は標準語しか勉強しておりません。もし、他の方言を聞いたら、日本語じゃないと思う可能性もあります。例えば、大阪にいる人にぶつかってしまった場合、なんでねんと言われても、方言がわからなかった私は、え ?2022 年なんですかと答えてしまいます。そして
大阪人さんは、チャオチャオ。あ、すみません。イタリア語が話せません。もう栄養。え、栄養ですか私と話すのは栄養ですかそんな、と勘違いして気づかずに愚か者になってしまうこともあります。まあ、日本語が上手になるのが脂肪なんですか日本語で。死亡するかもしれません。聞いてくれさってありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you, Dalton san. And、uh, please keep your camera and your microphone active. And we're going to wait on questions from our judges. Judges, whenever you have your question prepared, please raise your hand. Okay.、Uh, Judge Matsuzaki.、Uh, James san, what's again? Thank you. Oh, so this is. 北海道弁がもう勉強したいです。それはどうしてですかうん。まあ、今、一つの言葉だけが知っておりますけど、うん、その方言が面白いと思います。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。Uh, yes, Judge Sagawa. はいえー、と大阪の方言はどうやって勉強したんですかそうですね。今は日本に行ったことがありませんね。だからネットで勉強しております。はい、ありがとうございます。And yes, that's the name of the... 一番面白いと思う方言の言葉はありますかあ,ありますかあはい。えっと、大阪弁の何でねんが、うん、面白いと思います。<笑>ありがとうございます。あ,ありがとうございました。Judges, and thank you, Dalton san.、Uh, Dalton san, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. And judges, I would ask you to once again please signal me when you have completed your scoring. Okay. Yes. And yes. All right. Moving forward, contestant number three is Jaylene Fabi. Fabi's son's speech is titled My Internship Experience. It's about her internship experience with the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo so far. It will include what her internship is and what she has done for the internship.、Uh, Fabi san, please turn on your camera and microphone. Okay, and you are with us now. You may begin whenever you are ready. はじめまして、日本語を専攻しているファビジーリンと申します。今、大学4年生です。今日は私のインターンシップの経験で学んだことを話したいと思います。よろしくお願いします。私は今、米国大使館でインターンシップをしています。インターンシップは、Education USA というプログラムで、日本人と一緒に異文化理解のためのプログラムを企画し、日本人学生にアメリカ留学を促進することを目的としています。私の最初のプロジェクトは、インターナショナルエデュケーションウィークというイベントのプロモーションビデオを作ることでした。このイベントは、日本人学生がアメリカで留学する機会について学ぶためのイベントでした。テーマは STEM で、ビデオのために英語と日本語で原稿を書きました。実はプロモーションビデオを作ったことがなかったので、YouTube で一生懸命勉強しました。私たちが作ったプロモーションビデオは、東京の米国大使館の Twitter で公開されています。そして今、チームで行っているプロジェクトはメールエクスチェンジです。これは私が提案したプロジェクトで、目的はメールでお互いの国の文化や大学の文化について共有し
留学することを進め合うことです。まだ始まったばかりですが、結果を楽しみにしています。インターンシップは日本語を練習する本当にいい機会です。そして日本語だけでなく、あ日本語だけでなくプロショあ、日本の大国の文化についても勉強できたし、プロモーションビデオを作って、ソーシャルメディアで宣伝することもできるようになりました。さらに、日本とのミーティングの調整やあプログラムを企画と、実行を通して、リーダーシップ、マーケティングスキル、協調性、忍耐力もついたのではないかと思っています。だから私は、インターンシップに参加できて本当に良かったと思います。今日は私のインターンシップの経験について聞いてくださってありがとうございました。Thank you, Fabi san.、Uh, please keep your camera and microphone on as you await questions from our judges. Judges, please raise your hand when you have a question. Yes, Matsuzaki san. So, Jaden san, だからあの頑張り探して頑張り頑張ってください。はい、ありがとうございます。はい。Yes, Jet s a g a w はい、えっと、他にインターンシップやったことがありますかもしない場合には、今後どんなインターンシップをやりたいとかという希望はありますかそうですねあ。米国大使館のインターンシップは私の初めて。初めてインターンシップです。えっと、まあ、私は日本でイン,あインターンシップしたいです。例えばゲームの会社とか、えっと、銀行とかアカウンティ,アカウンティングをあやりたいと,と思,思います。はい、ありがとうございます。<笑> Yes, Judge Nemoto. 今回のインターンシップの経験を生かして、まあ、今アカウンティングっていうことがあったんですが将来的にどのような仕事を見つけたいと思っておりますかはいそうですね私はいろいろなあのいろいろなもんあことができますからちょっと答えあってちょっと答え難しいと思いますけど、えっと、私はゲームは大好きですから、もしあの将,来将来にゲーム会社にあ仕事したいです。あ例えばカッ,コカップコーンのロカライゼーションティンです。Okay. Thank you, judges. <笑> Thank you, judges, and thank you, Fabi san.、Uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. And, judges, I await your signal that you are ready to proceed. Okay. All right. Okay. Contestant number four is Vanessa Huynh. Huynh San's speech is titled Japanese Club. It is about involving herself in her high school Japanese club, allowed her to have new experiences, and find something that she loves and wants to share with others. Feeling of having a place to belong, having fun teaching and learning in about Japan, and spending time with new friends. Huynh San, please turn on your camera and your microphone. And once you're featured, yes, you may begin whenever you are ready. Vanessa to Moshimas, Dozo Yoroshku, Oyatashimas. 
。皆さんにとって部活とは何でしょうか学生時代はどんな部活に入っていましたか私は高校生の時に日本語部に入っていました。しかし、初めはあまり部活動に参加しませんでした。ある日、日本語部の演部の参加者の募集という広告を見ました。友達が一緒に参加してみないかと誘って会ってきました。友達に付き合って初めて練習に行ってみました。思っていたよりもとっても楽しかったのでダンスチームに入ることにしました私たちはプロではありませんが全員がお互いに支えて一生懸命練習しましたそして演舞の本番でみんなと一緒に舞台立てたことは最高でしたその日からどんどん部活のイベントに参加してメンバーたちと仲良くなりましたよく一緒に昼ご飯を食べたり、部活動を手伝ったりしました。ある時、日本語部の部長が、日本語部の役員になったらどうと私に聞いてきました。嬉しくて受け取りました。1年間、役員として活動した後、さらに1年間、部長を務めました。この2年間、部員たちと一緒にいろいろな楽しいイベントを置かない精一杯頑張りましたこの時は高校から続けている日本語部を大学に入っても続けたいと思っていましたしかし残念ながら私の大学には日本語部がありませんでしたそこで去年高校の部活の経験を生かして新しい部活を作りました今は日本語の美しさと日本文化の魅力を紹介しながらそこでできたたくさんの友達とよく一緒に遊びます。勉強でもゲームでも何でも部員たちがお互いに支えてイベントで楽しんでいます。このような分け合い合いとした雰囲気を日本語部で周りの人たちに伝えたいのです。以上です。ご清聴ありがとうございました。Thank you, Hen san.、Uh, please keep your camera and microphone on and await questions from our judges. Just please show me when you are ready to begin.、Uh, yes, Judge Matsuzaki. In my mother, the Nihongo Club, the Shita activity, the Ichiban Omoshiro, that the Omot activity, but none the Ska. Eh, so what happened? えー、と部員たちとあおにぎりを作ることです。えー、とあ11月におにぎりアクションという、えー、とイベントがあって、部員たちと,、えー、とあご飯もあ、えー、と海苔もあ使うながらおにぎりを作りました。とても美味しかったです。はい、ありがとうございます。あ、uh,、yes、ジャッジ菅は。え、部長をされてたということですけれども、部長として大変だなと思ったようなことはありますか？はい、えっ、ー、とたくさんのストレスがある時がありました。あえっと、私は前にあまり喋りませんでした。そして発表することは、えっと、苦手なのですとても怖かったです。でも、えっと、あそ,のその時からよく、えっと、発表して喋って。自然に慣れてきましたはい、ありがとうございます。And yes, Judge Nemoto, please. メンバーはどのぐらいの人数の、えー、方々があのクラブにいらっしゃったんでしょうかえっ、ー、と
高校生の時に私の日本語はえっと多分20人ぐらいがいてえっと今私の大学の日本語部ではえっと30人ぐらいがいます。Thank you, Wen San, and thank you, judges.、Uh, Wen San,、uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. And, judges, please let me know when you are ready to proceed. Okay. All right. Testament number five is Angela Liu. Yusan's speech is titled A Reflection on the Pandemic. It is about how her university life was impacted and her reaction to the pandemic, as well as how it might have affected other people. Yusan, please turn on your camera and microphone. All right. Welcome, and you may begin whenever you are ready. Yusan, Konnichiwa. I'm Angela Liu. 今日はパンデミックの生活というスピーチを発表したいと思います。よろしくお願いします。皆さんは人生で一回はこのように思ったことがあるのではないでしょうか。一日中ただ家にいたい。どこにも行きたくない。でも世界は2020年に本当にそのようなことになりました。外にあまり出られなくなって、自分の家で隔離しなければならなくなってしまいました。私にとって一番変わったことは大学の生活だと思います。大学では毎日授業があるので普通にリオの部屋から出て教室に行っていました。でもパンデミックのため学校の寮ではなく自分の家で、ズームで授業を受けました。実は私は内向的だからコロナの生活も結構好きです。それは人と話す必要がなくて一人での時間が増えることによりまたたくさん本を読み始めることができるようになったからです。でも私みたいな人は少なくて、大抵の人はこの状況で悪影響が出てしまっているような気がします。物理的影響以外にも人間関係からメンタルハルスまで問題があると考えられています。この2年間ぐらい、アメリカではコロナに感染した人の数は他,に他の国に比べて急速に増えました。アメリカでは自由という名のもとにマスクを使わない人が多いし危なくても平気で外で遊ぶ人も大勢います。これは感染者の数が急激に増えた理由の一つではないでしょうか。またワクチンを打たない理由はそれぞれ人によって違いますが打っ,て打っていない人にとってコロナは危険なものと言えるでしょう。でもどんな理由であれワクチンを打たない言ってない人のことを考えると、私の意見としては、みんながちゃんとマスクを使って注意して人と会えばいいと思います。コロナはまだ世界で蔓延していますが、この数年の経験から学んだことがあります。学校や会社は新しい状況にすぐに,すぐに適応して、社会全体も大変な環境の中でうまくコロナ前のような状態を目指しました。私たちは変えなければいけないことがまだある,あるけれど、人間はどんなに厳しい時でも頑張ればどんなことでも克服できると思います。だから力を合わせて一緒にコロナ前より素敵な社会を作っていきましょう。ご清聴ありがとうございました。Thank you, Liu san.、Uh, please keep your camera on and stay with us as we await questions from the judges. Uh, yes, Judge Matsuzaki. Right. Uh, 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 えー、それはこのコロナが始まってからこのみんなは自分の家で隔離するから
まあ、私の友達とか、なんか休みの時普通にどこかに出かけて遊んだり話したりしますが、あコロナの場合にはなんかフェイスタイムとかメッセンジャーで話す方法しかありませんから、このもっとこの周りの人を大事にすることがも、はい、最近もっと感謝しています。ありがとうございます。Yes, Judge Sagawa. えと日本のコロナの状況とかについてもし知っていることがあればあの教えてもらえますかはい、えー、と少し知っています。ただ、えー、と一番多分、うん、気,に気になったことはなんか日本でまだこの旅行た,、まあ、た,ただ楽しいたえ、自分の旅行のために日本に行くことはできないと、あと分かります。それはちょっと、まあ最初はすごく大変なことと思って、なんかそれは日本でホストファミリーがありますから、よく、まあ、あ時間があったら日本にまたホストファミリーと会いたいと思ったけど、このコロナが始まったから、この今日本に入らないから、それはちょっと残念だけど、そして、他の多分大変なこと、大変なことは、この留学生たちも、この、今は良くなった気がしますけど、まあ、前,前も、この留学生たちも、ビザがあっても、なんか、日本で留学できないと言って、それはちょっと大変なこと、それも大変なことと思います。はい、ありがとうございました。Yes, and Judge Nemoto, please. コロナの影響でできなくなったことでこれから良くなったらこれだけはしたいっていうことはありますかうんはいまあ一つのは絶対<笑>まあ日本じゃ,じゃないでも他の国にも旅行したいこの機会があったらぜひ旅行また旅行したいと思いますそしてもう一つのはこの普通に大学生はや夏休みでインターンシップをするからこの2年この2年間ぐらいこの私のインターンシップは全部、えー、家で家からこの参加しましたそれは、まあ、普通に、えー、インターンシップの会社でこの直接に働くすることができるからこのコロナが終わったらまた会社で戻るのは、うん、いいことだと思いますはい、ありがとうございます。Contestant number six is Rimi Navaretta. Navaretta san's speech is titled Compassion for Society and is about the complex nature of crime and its subsequent punishment,、uh, analyzing all of its nuances in a contemporary context. Navaretta san, please turn on your camera and your microphone. And yes, there you go. Whenever you are ready, you may begin. こんにちは、レミナ・ブレッタです。よろしくお願いします。思いやりを社会に。あなたは罪を犯したことがありますか私はあります。5歳の時に耳ぐるみを盗んでしまいました。デパートから持ってきてしまったのです。しかし、私は子供だったので、犯罪にはならず許されました。5歳だったので、盗んだのか、持ってきたのか、本当は分かりません。その時、私は許され、罰せられることはありませんでした。でも、ぬいぐるみを持ってきた私が15歳だったら、または25歳だったら、同じように許されるでしょうか。許される許されない。罪となる罪とならない。その線はどこで引かれるのでしょうか
ニュースによると最近アメリカではノースポイントという AI を使って犯罪者の可能性を予測しているそうですこのような AI の使用では軽度の犯罪者にアフリカ系アメリカ人を予測する傾向が見られると言われていますこのようなテクノロジーの使用により犯罪かどうかの見極めがより困難になりますなぜならそこには偏見があるからです近年のさまざまな事件にも見られるように犯罪はさらに複雑化しますしかし誰もが一度は間違いを起こすでしょう人は一生多くの間違いをし続けるのかもしれません深刻な犯罪でなく誰も傷つけないような小さな間違い数日には理解し許していくこともが必要なのではないでしょうかただ、罰として刑務所に行くのではなく、コミュニティサービス等で社会につながり、犯罪を繰り返さないよう、お互いに支えていくこともできると思います。人は許される機会を得るべきです。犯罪は常に複雑な要素があります。しかし子供だった私が許されたように犯罪には思いやりを持って柔軟に対処することが必要だと思います。これはアメリカだけでなく日本や他の国でも重要なことです。私は将来国際弁護士になりたいので法律を学びさまざまなケースに思いやりを生かせるようにしていきたいと考えています。そして人を思いやり親切な心を大切にする社会の習慣を作っていこうと思います。ご清聴ありがとうございました。Thank you, Navaretta さん。Uh, please stay with us.、Uh, our judges will ask you a few questions. Judges, whenever you're ready.、Uh, yes, Judge Matsuzaki さん。レミさんは他の国とあのその結果とかを比べたことがありますかあすみません、こ聞こえません。あすみません。レミさん、はい、レミさんはこのテーマに関してあの、他の国と比べたことがありますかこれえっ、ー、と、他の国、えっ、ー、と、私は国際弁護士になりたいので、えっ、ー、と、世界の視点が欲しいです。えっ、ー、と、他の国の、だから、えっ、ー、と、世界のニュースをよく見ます例えば、えっと、ロシアとウクライナについてのニュースを見ます。えっと、あそれは世界の難しい問題です、えっと。それぞれの国が違う見方を持っているからです。でもあえっと、だから、えっと、私は。が多くの人を助けていきたい,あい,きたいです。あだから、えー、と法律を学び、えーとあえーと、法律のクラブの活動あに参加します。<笑>ありがとうございます。Uh, yes, ジャンス側。国際弁護士になりたいということでしたけれども、あの具体的には、例えば日本に行ってとか、あるいはアメリカでどういう人を日本人を相手にしたいとか、そういう具体的な何か考えはありますかえっと、えっと、私は国際弁,あ弁護士になりたいですね。えっとあえー、っと、えっと、ほ人は、すみません。えー、っと、他の国は、えっと、見方が違います。違うと思います。えー、っと、私は、全、えー、全部の人で助けていきたいです。えー、っと、えっと、日本にあすみません
<laughs> eh itu ya tak tak sembilan sembilan satu ah apa tu um でもえっ、ー、と犯罪は複雑なものです。えっ、ー、と私は市民の権利をあ助けあを手伝っていきたいです。えっ、ー、とはい。<笑>はいありがとうございます。Yes でもどうです。国際弁護士になりたかったのは、例えばあの先生だったり、友達だったり、家族ご家族だったり、何かこう理由が他にあったんでしょうか。ああ、えっ、ー、と私は大学に入って、えっ、ー、と先生と友達とえっ、ー、とせあ政治学の先生に。えっ、ー、と、似合いました。えっ、ー、と、だから、えっ、ー、と、奥の人は、私に。手つ、あ、手伝、あ、手つ、手伝いました。えっ、ー、と、だ、例えば、大学に入って、ヌートコートという、あ、クラブの、に、入っています。えっ、ー、と、ヌートコートは、えっ、ー、と、クラブの活動。です4人グループで法律について話します。さまざまなケースと、えーとうん、最近の大変なトピックについて話し合います。えー、とだから将来あ、弁護士を目指す人たちが、さあ、模擬裁判の練習をします。だから私は、えー、おで周りの人は<笑>あと一緒にあと準備をします。ありがとうございます。Okay. Uh, thank you, judges.、Uh, thank you, Namarete san.、Uh, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. And judges, please let me know when you have finished considering your scores. Okay. okay. All right. Final contestant is Niwa Stowers. Stowers' song speech is titled Revitalization of the Environmental and Community via Akia Reform and is about the negative impacts Japan's increasingly abandoned, increasing number of abandoned houses have on both the environment and society and poses a way in which these effects may be mitigated.、Uh, Stowers' song, please turn on your camera and microphone. Welcome. And when you are ready, you may begin. Hajime Maste, Niva Stauzu Tomo Shimas. Honjitsua, Akia no reformer, Kankyo to community no Kaizen Nitsuite, Ohanashi Shimas. Dozo Roshkonigai Tashimas. Nihondewa, Shoshi, Kore Kato, Toshikaga Susunde, Inakani Aru, Akia no Kazuga Kinen, O Kiku Zo Kashimashta. 都市部の経済と文化はますます盛り上がっていますが、その影響で小さくて古い町から人が離れ、コミュニティがバラバラになっています。では、空き家は環境社会にどんな影響を与えているのでしょうか空き家が劣化すると、毒が環境に流れ出したり、火事の危険があったり、不法投棄を招いたりして、周りの環境や安全が脅かされます。そのせいで地元のコミュニティに影響を与えます。また、中小企業や店も潰れてしまいます。どうしたらいいでしょうか私は環境破壊を抑えるために、秋をリフォームして街をクリーンアップしたらいいと考えます。私のふるさとでは、2014年から空き家の改装振興計画が始まりました。同じように日本でも NPO 法人尾道空き家再生プロジェクトというのがあります。このプロジェクトでは地域の住民と政府が協力して建築、環境
コミュニティ、観光、そしてアートへの影響を改善しようとしています。古い家や病院などの建物をゲストハウスや民宿に変えて、歴史的建造物を修復しています。それが、この道に移住したがっている人と観光客を引き付けています。これを、この道ドリームと呼んでいる人がいます。理想の家を持つだけでなく、自分のクリエイティビティも表現できるからです。この道のサクセスストーリーは、空き家でコミュニティを変える素晴らしい例です。荒れた町をきれいにしたら、新しい企業が来たり、住民が戻ってくるのです。このような歴史的な町の文化的意義を守るのに、空き家のリフォームが鍵となるのでは、ないでしょうかご清聴ありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you, Sauer-san. Please stay with us and leave your microphone on as our judges、uh, present you with a few questions. Judge Matsuzaki. Miwa さんはいつからこれについて興味を持ちましたかえっと、いつからえっと、去年、環境問題を興味があるの、環境問題に興味があるので、空き家を調べていましたから。はい。あどうして空き家あの調べたあ、えっと、私は環境科学の学生で、環境問題に興味があるので、日本の環境問題を調べていて、空き家を見つけていました。アキアを聞いたことがないので、面白くて複雑な問題だと思います。えっと、だから、アキアを研究して、おのみちサクセスストーリー、おのみちのサクセスストーリーを見つけていました。えっと、おのみちは面白くていいサクセスがありましたから、おのみちを選びました。ありがとうございます。Yes,、uh, Judge s a g a w a えー、となぜ、えー、と日本は空き家が多いかご存知でしょうかあ、えっと、日本では、えっと、少子高齢化があるので、えっと、たくさん人は田舎から都市部に行って、えっと、たくさん空き家がありま,すありましたら、はい。ありがとうございます。Yes, of course. ジャッジネモトです。この道の空き家を何かに変えるとし,したら、今さんは何に変えたいと思いますかえっと、すみません。ちょっと、うん、インターネットは悪いので、えっと、すみません。もうもうすみません。すみません。もう一度聞いて,聞いてお願いします。はい、えっと、この道の空き家をえ何かに変えるとしたら、ニマさんは何に変えたいですかえっと、空き家を、えっと、民宿やゲストハウスを変えて、変えた空き家があるので、人々は都市部から田舎に行って、空き家がリフォームしたらいいと考えます。はい、ありがとうございます。All right, thank you very much, s t a w a r s a n And you may turn off your camera and your microphone.、Um, we're about to move forward with our program, but at this time, I'm going to ask our judges to make their way to their breakout rooms for final deliberation. Thank you very much to Matsumura san, Matsuzaki sensei, Nemoto san, Romana witch sensei, Sagawa san, and Patsuzawa sensei.、Um, we are going to have a slight change in our schedule at the moment.、Um, you've shared your stories with us so far. Now we have a guest who would like to share his stories with you. Please join me in welcoming our special guest, Katsura Sunshine. Katsura Sunshine was born in Toronto, Canada, and holds Slovenian citizenship as well as Canadian. He began in entertainment as a playwright, composer, and a producer of musical theater. In 2008, he became the 15th apprentice to the great Rakugo master, Katsura Bunchi VI. 
from whom he received the name Hatsuda Sunshine. Sunshine was the first ever Western Rakugoka in the Kamigata tradition, which was in Kyoto, and only the second one in Japanese history after his predecessor, uh, Kairakute Buraku, a hundred years earlier. Uh, Sunshine has toured over five continents, performing in three languages, Japanese, English, and French. Sunshine divides his time between Tokyo, New York, Toronto, and London, which is where he is joining us from today. Sunshine Sun, thank you so much for making the time to join us today. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Uh, thank you all so much for having me. It is a pleasure to be here. Uh, congratulations on all your efforts in the speech contest. I am coming to you right now from London. Uh, and I just got here. I just arrived in London from New York, where I just reopened uh, the Rakugo show on Broadway. And uh, now flew here to London to do it in the West End. And so I'll be performing in New York and London for the next year. So if any of you have a chance to come to New York or a chance to come to London, I would love you to see Rakugo live. And I hope that the next time I perform for you, I can come down and perform for you live as well. But if I can give you a little taste of Rakugo, in the Zoom context, uh, on the screen like this, uh, I give you a little bit of a taste of it and whet your appetite. Uh, then I hope to meet you all in person next time. But Rakugo is a 400 year tradition of storytelling in Japan. The stories have been passed down from master to apprentice, master to apprentice, master to apprentice, uh, up until the present day. And when we begin uh, Rakugo presentation, we usually start with a little bit of an explanation. For example, uh, we use only two props with Rakugo. In Japanese, we say sensu. In English, we say fan. In Japanese, we say tenegui. In English, we say hand towel. Uh, we use those two props. When we perform Rakugo, we wear special clothing. In Japanese, we say kimono. In English, we say kimono. That joke goes over very well on Broadway. I'll just have you know. When we perform Rakugo, we kneel on a cushion for very long periods of time. In Japanese, we call this sitting position seiza. In English, we call this punishment. <laughs> then if you have that much of an explanation, then you're ready to go. When we begin Rakugo in Japan, we start with a formal greeting to the audience called aisatsu. Aisatsu is just a polite greeting. Now, I would love to create a little bit of a Japanese atmosphere here with you today. So I'll do the aisatsu in Japanese, and then I'll translate into English. For those of you who don't understand the, the Japanese. But in Japanese, the aisatsu goes like this. え、もうご来場いただきありがとうございます。熱く御礼を申し上げます。私、小宮でも、落語家なんです。桂さん、白玉の国大桂文章の15番目の弟子の桂さん、に輝くと書きまして、桂さんシャインでございます。どうぞよ
If I was busy, I would not be coming here to see you. So sometimes people make a mistake with the culture. Now, Rakugo is very interesting art form because the first part of Rakugo, I'm already doing it right now. It's called the Makura or the pillow. And it's basically an introduction. It's a couple of jokes, a self-introduction, some explanations. And then you get into the story proper. Turn my head to the left, I play one character. Turn my head to the right, I play another character. And every story ends in a punchline. The punchline is very, very important because if you don't get the punchline, then you, you've kind of wasted half an hour. So I would like to train you a little bit in getting your Rakugo thinking caps on with a couple of very short Rakugo jokes. The first one is 15 seconds long. So you know when the punchline is coming. Are you all ready? It goes like this. Two ladies gossiping in front of their home in old Edo, Japan. Did you hear? Mrs. Takahashi down the street fell down on her face and her face became completely disfigured. Oh, really? That's too bad, yes, but the doctor is amazing. He managed to put her face right back to the way it was before. Oh, really? That's too bad. As you can see, Rakugo is very high level humor. Now, I don't want to give you the impression that Rakugo only makes fun of the ladies. Rakugo also makes fun of the gentlemen. This is Mr. Takahashi and Mr. Tanaka, two elderly Japanese gentlemen. My Japanese friends tell me that this is the case now and has been for a long time in Japan that people, elderly people, often go to the hospital, not because they are sick, but because they want to meet their friends and socialize in the hospital waiting room. Hello, Takahashi-san. A long time no see. Yes, Tanaka san, long time no see. You did not come last week. I'm sorry I could not come last week. Why did you not come last week? You know that we meet here every week in the hospital waiting room to socialize. We and our friends. Yes, yes, I could not come last week. I was sick. You were sick. Too sick to come to the hospital. And how are you feeling now? I'm much better, thank you. Well, what happened that you were so sick that you could not come and join us here in the hospital waiting room? Ah, it was terrible. I thought I was going to die. You thought you were going to die? Yes, I thought I was going to die. I touched my forehead, it hurt. I touched my nose, it hurt. Touched my chin, it hurt. I touched my chest, it hurt. I touched my hips, it hurt. I touched my legs, it hurt. Everywhere I touched, it hurt, it hurt, it hurt. Ah, that sounds terrible. What did the doctor say to you? Ah, the doctor said to me, do not worry, sir, you will be fine. Ha! Do not worry, sir, you will be fine. You touch your forehead, hurts, you touch your nose, it hurts, you touch your chin, it hurts, you touch your chest, it hurts, you touch your hips, it hurts, you touch your legs, it hurts. And the doctor says, you will be fine. How could he say a crazy thing like that to you? He said, oh, do not worry, sir. You will be fine. You simply have a broken finger. <laughs> so now I think uh, you guys know how Rako goes. I have to tell you, I've been in Japan now for 25 years. So my Jap Japanese is getting better and better step by step, but I still have a long way to go. Jinsei wa benkyo, they say. There. You'll be studying for the rest of your life. And that's true for me. I've been a professional Rakugo storyteller now for 15 years, uh, but still studying, still studying. Jinsei wa shugyo, say. You're always apprenticing until the end of your life. And that's how I feel. Uh, I have to tell you, though, one thing that I've noticed recently, I'm starting to lose confidence in my English. And it's because people say things to me to make me lose confidence in my English. This is ever, this is in Japan, outside of Japan. I moved to New York about four years ago uh, to put the show on Broadway. And I think because I was in Japan by that time, 20, 21 years, I had lost my Canadian accent or something because nobody could figure out where I was from. And I think maybe it's because being on stage, you're always enunciating in a particular way or something like that. Um, I'm not sure, but I lost my Canadian accent. Everybody would say, where are you from? Get in a taxi cab. Where are you from? Uh, go to a bar, meet someone at the bar. Where are you from? Go to a friend's house at a party. Where are you from? So I always like to play a game and say, guess. And here's where the problem begins. The countries that they guessed were these countries, Denmark, Sweden, Germany, Russia, Croatia, the only thing these countries have in common is English is not the first language. <laughs> so I said, no, and I stopped them. It's frustrating. So why? No, no, no. Come on. I'm from Canada. And they automatically said, oh, Quebec, the French part of Canada. No, <laughs> Toronto, my first language is English. Okay. Makes me lose confidence in my English. Then 
in Japan. I don't know, those of you who've been to Japan before, you will have noticed that there's often people outside of the train stations handing out tissues. Uh, and at first I thought these were free tissues from the tissue companies, little tissue packets. But after one week there, I thought the tissue company is going to go bankrupt if they keep giving free tissues like this. And then my friend explained to me, he said, no, 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 that's not free samples. These, this is advertising. There's a little advertising card in the tissue packet. And this is really genius in Japanese advertising because I advertise my show in Times Square in New York, give people pamphlets. Most of them get thrown out, right? But if you give someone a tissue packet, they can use it. So, oh, thank you, put it in here. And then when they go to use the tissues for whatever, then they're, they're reading the advertising again and again. And there's a specific word which accompanies the handing of the tissue. I will teach it to you now. It's ikaga desu ka, which means why don't you try my something something. So they're selling all kinds of things. If there's if you're advertising the sushi shop, it'd be sushi a ikaga desu ka, and they hand you the tissues, right? Or if it's a yakitori shop, the yakitori, the chicken skewers, right? The barbecue chicken shop. They'd say, yakitori ai kaga desu ka, hand you the tissues. Hey, if it's glasses, it'd be megane ai kaga desu ka, contact lenses, we kontaku to lenzu ai kaga desu ka, hand you the tissues. And about two years ago, I exited Shinjuku Station, which is the busiest station in Tokyo, one of the busiest stations in the world. I exited the station, young lady doing her part-time job, looked me in the eyes and she said, English conversation school. I thought, why? Maybe I should enroll. Then I'm performing Rakugo uh, in Japanese when I'm in Japan and usually in English when I'm abroad. And um, I've performed in French before and now I'm learning to perform in Chinese and Italian. I'm learning Chinese because uh, I really want to perform in China. I think there's a lot of fans of Japanese culture in China um, because one of my videos went viral in China. So I was really happy about that. Uh, and so I'm, I'm learning Chinese, but Chinese is a very difficult language. So I, I'm, I'm trying to learn an easy language like Italian at the same time to give my mind a break. Now to those Italians out there, I'm not trying to say your language is easy, but it's easier for, for, for some of us, <laughs> certainly growing up in Toronto. But sometimes I get asked to perform in English, even in Japan, particularly for high schools or universities. And there was a story I was performing three years ago at the university in Hokkaido for about 50 university students. And as my final performance, I'd like to give you a little taste of that very famous Japanese story right now. Once upon a time, there was a little boy with a very long name. His name was Jugemu Jugemu Goko no Surikire Kai Jarisi. Sungyo matsu, ungyo matsu, urai matsu, kuneru tokoro, misumu tokoro, yabura koji, bura koji, paipo, paipo. Paipo no shurigan, shurigan no gurinai, gurinai no pompokopi no pompokona no chokyume no choske. It was a very long name. One day his neighbor, a little boy named Kinchan, a much shorter name, came to pick him up for school. And Kinchan said, Jigame, Jigame, Goko no Surikire, Kai Darisi, Hingamatu, Hingamatu, Hurai Matsuku, Neru Tokoro, Nisumu Tokoro, Yaburako, Jiburako, Jipai, Popai, Pai Pono Shuriga, Shuriga no Gurinda, Gurina no Pompokopi, the Pompokona no Chokume no Chosuke. Let's go to school. And Jugemu's mother came out and said, Arama Kinchan, how kind of you. You are so nice. But our Jugemu, Jugemu, Goko no Suriki de Kai Dari Singh, you know, Singh Matu, Singh Matu, Hurai Matu, Kuner Tokoro, Nisumu Tokori, Aburoko, Jiburoko, Jipai, Popai, Popai, Pono Shuringa, Shuringa no Gurina, Gurina no Pompokopino, Pompokona no Chokume no Choske is sleeping. Wait here, wait here, I'll wake him up. Hey! Wake up! Kinchan is here to pick you up. I'm sorry, Kinchan. I'm sorry, Kinchan. Ma'am, his name was so long. School for today is already finished. So I performed this Jugemu story for the students in Hokkaido at the university. And then I got the Anketto. Anketto means survey. It's a survey of the students uh, for their reactions to my performance. And I got these kinds of comments. 
from the students in the audience, the Japanese students. They said, Sunshine-san speaks very good English. I was surprised. <laughs> Sunshine-san's English sounds almost as good as a native speaker of English. Said, almost. So it makes, makes me lose confidence in my English. Well, I hope my English was okay today. I hope you enjoyed this little taste of Rakugo. And congratulations on all your efforts and all your learning and, and, and getting out there and doing your speech. And if anybody is interested in being an Arakugo apprentice, I'm, I'm looking for apprentices too. So uh, definitely get in touch. But I'm waiting for you in New York. I'm waiting for you in London. And I hope to come out and see you all and do the show in person next time. Thank you so much for having me into your screens. I have been Katsura Sunshine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Katsura Sunshine-san. My pleasure. You mentioned an apprentice, and I'm sure you probably have a few future deshi here in the crowd today. Beautiful. Um, I know we're all muted. I know our cameras are off. But, uh, one more round of applause for uh, Sunshine-san. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you Yeah, so I much. have to tell you that the, the first time I did a Zoom performance a couple years ago when COVID started, uh, because, because we're always live, I wanted to hear the laughter. And it was for a big Japanese company. There were about 120 people. And I said, no, don't mute. And they, it was locked down where they were. I forgot. There were the different cities in the United States, kind of locked down conditions. So everybody was at home. It's a big mistake. But I had, there were dogs barking. There was pots and pans cl clattering in the kitchen. The only thing you couldn't hear was the Rakugo. <laughs> <laughs> very difficult condition, but I kind of got used to it. But today, actually, very special because my two friends, whose house I'm I'm borrowing for this, uh, were here laughing. So it's much easier than a usual Zoom performance. So I hope everybody uh, on your side was also uh, having a good time. But it was a real pleasure performing for you. I know that I was. I'm sure everybody. Did. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank it you too, and thank you for thinking of me. Yes, thank you. Have a great performance in London. Thank you. I will. Arigato. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. I hate to follow that, but we're now ready for the open division. So, all right, guys. Um, after a two year hiatus, we are returning with the open division competition. Today, we have five contestants who will be competing for a special award from Kinokuniya Bookstore. And uh, Kinokuniya's Shigekazu Watanabe will be our judge for today. Um, open division contestants, I believe we have already done your breakout room check. Um, so in that case, we will move forward. Uh, our five contestants, uh, once I have the list on screen, yes, here we go. So our five contestants, contestants competing in open division are Mario de Pavia, Mizuki Fukuda, Lisa Noro, Shaya Kurashi, and Marie Romano. Uh, after each contestant presents their speech, our special guest judge, Watanabe-san, will ask the contestant one question. Uh, Watanabe-san, please join us by turning on your camera. Welcome. Okay. You ready to begin, sir? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, contestant number one is Mario de Pavia. De Pavia's son's, or de Pavia's son's speech is titled, The Moment I Thought I Would Die, and is about his experience nearly dying in a car accident. After witnessing the warm reactions of his parents and friends to the accident, he gained a deeper appreciation for things he had previously taken for granted. Uh, the obvious song. I see you that your camera is on. Please turn on your microphone as well. Thank you. And when you are ready, you may begin. Konnichiwa. Mario de Pavia to moshimasu. Kyo wa shinu ka to omotta shunkan nitsuite o hanashi shitai to moshimasu. Yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Mina san, koukou seikatsu no ichiban tanoshikatta omoide wa nan desu ka? 僕は日本語の授業で出会った友達と毎年やったスイカ割りです。残念ながら昨年の8月、その友達の2人が別の大学に行くことになりました。自分の大学が始まる前にもう一度一緒にスイカ割りをやりたいと思い、両親にクラマ
自損事故を起こしてしまいました。自分自身に怪我はなく、他の車に被害はなかったのですが、母の車は全損になってしまいました。事故を起こしてしまったことで、いたたまれない気持ちで、養子に電話をかけて報告しました。これは絶対に怒られると思いきや、養子は車のことよりも、自分に怪我がなかったことに安心してくれましたが、実家から遠く離れて、結局友達が一家と道で一時間をかけて運転して迎えに来てくれました。いつ帰れるかわからないという話をしたら、マリオくん、必要なだけうちに泊まっていいよ、と友達が言ってくれました。その夜、友達が寝た後、友達のソファで深夜まで、涙を流しながら深く反省しました。親切な友達がいてよかったと、ここの車にぶつからなくてよかったと、この家庭に生まれてよかったと、まだ生きててよかったと。次の日、友達と終わったスイカほど美味しいスイカを食べたことはないです。結論として、事故から気づいたことは、安全運転の大切さに加えて、人の命は一瞬で消えてしまう可能性があるということです。事故の日から毎日、自分が寝る直、すみません。事故の日から毎日、目が覚めた直後と寝る前に、生きていることは恵まれていることだと思い出し、自分の愛してくれる友達と家族、に感謝をしています。皆さんもぜひそうしてみてください。日常生活にとってもいい影響を与えれると思います。以上です。ご清聴ありがとうございました。Thank you, Abia さん。Please keep your camera and microphone on. Remain with us、uh, as our guest judge、uh, presents you with a question. Abia さん、uh, whenever you are ready, please turn on your microphone. 今回の事故の経験を生かして、えー、マリオさんの将来はどういったキャリアを歩みたいというふうに考えますかあの、まあ、あの、この事故をきっかけにして、あの、医者になろうと思います。今、大学で、あの、医学部に入っています。ありがとうございます。こちらこそ、ありがとうございました。To Nabe san and the Pavia san, and to the Pavia san, you may turn off your camera and your microphone.、Uh, please, Wata Nabe san, let me know when you are ready to move forward. Contestant、oh. number two is Mizuki Fukuda. Fukuda san's speech is titled Japan's Obsession with Skin Whitening. And it's about Japan's obsession with skin whitening and the cause of colorism, which is a universal issue. In her speech, she advocates for Japan to open their eyes to more diversity in skin color.、Uh, Fukuda san, please turn on your camera and microphone. Welcome. And when you are ready, you may begin. So, Konnichiwa, Kuda Mizuki to Moshimas. Honjitsu wa, eto, Nihon no Biak Mondai Nizite Hanashtai to Moimas. と日本ではいろいろな驚きがありますが、その一つを経験するのには化粧品コーナーに行くことをお勧めします。そこには何があると思いますかアメリカではないと思いますが、えー、す,すごい量の美白化粧品で溢れています。肌の白いことが良いこととされ、女性は少しでも白くなりたいと思い、えー、化粧品会社やマガジンや CM では、白い肌になるためにはということを平気で言っています。日本は一般的に単一民族の国と言われていますが、現在ではいろいろな国から人がやってきて、さまざまな民族の人が来たり住んでいます。アメリカでは小さい時から人種差別や特に肌の色の差別に関して、えー、襲われましたアメリカあ。日本ではその教育は少し遅れているように感じます。日本人は肌が白,い白ければ白いほど美しいという、えー、一般的な考えです。でもそれは肌の美意識というところから気づかないうちに肌の差別や、えー、そして肌の差別や人種差別にもつながると思います。私は日本に夏の間行き
。周りを見ることで、えー、この問題に関して気づいたことがあります。彼が白い白人はチヤホヤされて、彼が濃いめの黒人や南アジア人の人たちは見下されているように感じることがありました。私は母と神社へ行ったとき、いろいろな国からの来た観光客がいました。お土産売り場の人は、並んでいる白人には、えー、優しい声で、笑顔で、英語で質問を答えたり、えー、案内をしていたのに、次に来た南アジア人には、そっけなくあまり白,白人ほどには優しい感じではありませんでした。肌の色の差別と人種差別にはいろいろなもんあ理由や問題があります。でもその一つは、ある見た目だけを良いとする、えー、美意識も大きな原因の一つだと思います。最近では、顔などの一部の化粧品ブランドが、美薬という言葉を製品から削除しました。日本でも行動を起こす会社が出てきたのです。近い将来、白い肌だけが良いとされるスタンダードが少しずつ変わっていくことを願っています。ありがとうございました。Thank you so much, Fukuda san.、Uh, please stay with us, and our guest, Judge Watanabe san, will ask you a question. There are Hada no Nihon no Shakai de Hada no Iro, ma Shiroi Hada ga meda sare ru tiu koto nan desu kedo, Amerika dewa do de shou, mata do itta katachi de Hada no Iro ga shikibetsu sare ru no ga li so to kangae desu ka? Ma Amerika dewa. 社会的には肌がもうちょっと明るくて白い方がいいと思うんですけど、まあ、肌が白い方が、えー、っともっと社会からよい、えー、プリブレッジがあってあるんですけど、えー、モデルとかは、えー、っと肌が濃い方、もっと,、えー、っとお金持ちだから旅行とかに行って、えー、こう肌が淡できる。っていうのがいいんですけど、それはまた、えー、と肌の差別ではなくて、それはただ良いとされて、だけど差別ではやっぱりアメリカでも肌がこういう方が、えー、と差別が多いと思うので、差別と,、えー、とスタンダード、えーと、美意識のスタンダードはまた別の問題だと思います、アメリカでは。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。Thank you, Watanabe san and Fukuda san. Fukuda san, you may turn off your camera and microphone. And、uh, Watanabe san, please let me know when you are ready to proceed. Okay.、Uh, contestant number three is Alisa Moro. Moro san's speech is titled Arch Enemy Iseben and is about her Japanese learning effort and Iseben, the local dialect in her mother's hometown, as an obstacle. Uh, Noro san, please turn on your camera and microphone. Welcome. When you are ready, you may begin. Konnichiwa, Noro Arisa to Moshimas. Kyoa, Tenteki Iseben to you title of speech, the Haha no Kokyo no Iseben no Muskasen Nitsuite, Ohana Shosete, the Lakitai to Moimas. Dozo, Yoroshko Nigaishimas. 母は三重県の伊勢市の出身で、私の家族は毎年夏に伊勢に来ます。伊勢島には美しい山と海があり、アメリカの都会の近くで育った私にとっては、田舎の素晴らしさを満喫できる日本のホームタウンです。毎年日本に行くうちに、日本の人と文化がとても好きになり、頑張って日本語を勉強しようと決めました。日本語の本を読んでみたり、母と日本語で会話したり、夏休みの間に数週間の体験入学をしたりするうちにだんだんと日本語が分かってきました。でも、一つとても苦労していることがあります。それは伊勢弁です。アメリカで日本語を勉強しているとだんだん分かってきて、次に日本に行くときにはもっと上手に会話ができると自信がついてくるのですが、いざ伊勢に行ってみると分からない言葉にたくさん出会います。例えば、祖母の家の近くのイオンボールのフードコートが改装されて、名前がおいないキッチンに変わっていたのですが、頭の辞書の中をどんだけ探しても、おいないという単語はありませんでした。一緒にいた友達に聞いてみると、おいないは伊勢弁で、標準語ではおいでなんだと教えてくれました。えっと、体験留学の、えっと、学校のみんなも
イセブンなのでトマトオことか多いです。先生が掃除の時間に「はい机を釣ってください」と言った時私はとっさに「えする魚釣りなの?」でも「机?」と思,思いましたが他のみんなが机を運んでいるのを見て「鶴は運ぶことなんだと分かりました。モールや学校で困る,ことのこ困ることは多いのですが一番大変なのは祖母や祖母の近所のおばあちゃんたちです。好意を持って話しかけてくれるのはとてもありがたいしできるだけ会話をしたいのですが伊勢に着いた途端「よう来たな飛行機は積んでへんだか長旅は偉いやろう弟らは飛行場で直でへんかったか」など。言われるとせっかく頑張って日本語を勉強してきたのに母の通訳がいりとてもがっかりします私が大好きな伊勢の人たちと自由に会話ができるまでまだまだ道のりは長そうですが頑張って伊勢弁を習得したいと思いますどうもありがとうございました Thank you, Noro-san、uh, Please stay with us and Watanabe-san will have a question for you 何も何か驚いた伊勢弁とか、まあ、何か、えー、皆さんに紹介したいような伊勢弁っていうのはありますか、えー、と一度学校でこう牛乳パック、えー、と給食の後の牛乳パックを牛乳パックの担当の人がしまわないけないんですよ。で私がその当番で先生に、えー、と牛乳パックを、えーとしえー、とほっといてって言われたんですよ。で私はほっといてはそのまま置いといてという意味に解釈したんですがほっといては伊勢弁で捨てといてという意味だったので先生にちょっとやってなかったので注意されました、はい、ありがとうございますどうもありがとうございました、uh, Thank you, Watanabe-san and Noro-san、uh, Noro-san, you may turn off your camera and your microphone and we will proceed as soon as Watanabe-san is ready OK Testet number four is Chayam Kurashi. Kurashi san's speech is titled To Become a Doctor about his experiences while pursuing medicine as a career. So, Kurashi san, please turn on your camera and microphone. And when you are ready and have been on screen, I spoke. Hi, Konnichiwa. What is your name? One moment, please. I'm not entirely sure that. Yes, there we are. Okay. Wonderful. 医学を追,追求するようになりました。私はいつも彼に私も医者になりたいと言ったことを覚えています。大学に入学したとき、病院でボランティア活動を始めました。それが人々を助けることへの愛情が本当に始まった時です。整形外科が男性の方を移動するのを手伝ったことを覚えています。それは病院での私のお気に入りの経験の一つでした。マシェテでダレカオオドシタノチニウタレタオトコノヨーナイクツカノクレジナハナシモアリマシタコウィンノアトウタシュワシリスクリニックでシャドウィングオハジメマシタソレワトテモタナシカタシータシカニビオインホドキミオデワナカタ怪我人やお年寄りの体の動きを取り戻したいと思ったので、整形外科手術をしたいです
今、私は医学部に出願していて、将来がどうなるか楽しみです。はい、ありがとうございました。Okay. Thank you, Kurashi san.、Uh, please stay with us, and Watanabe san, I have a question for you. 整形外科の医者になりたいという話ですけど、将来日本で医者になってみるというふうな考えはありますか、uh, もう一度お願いします、uh, はい。将来日本で医者になるというふうな考えはありますか、uh, はい、でも、uh, 日本の医者はちょっと、uh, different. different です。Uh, そして、uh, 私は、uh, 最,最初、私はアメリカに、uh, 医者になりたい。はい。わかりました。ありがとうございます。はい。ありがとうございます。Uh, thank you very much, Kurashi san. Thank you, Watanabe san.、えっと、Kurashi san, you may turn off your camera and your microphone. And Watanabe san, are you ready for our final contestant? Wonderful. Thank you. Our final contestant is Marie Romano. Romano san's speech is titled The Unspoken Language of Japan and is about the unspoken language of Japan. While best translated as hospitality, Omotenashi is, at its core, a language without words as seen through the Japanese tea ceremony. Romano san,、uh, please turn on your camera and your microphone. Welcome, Romano san.、Uh, whenever you are ready, you may begin. Hi, Hajime Maste, Romano Mari Tomosimas. Kiowa, Nihon no Koi ni dasana gengo ni tsite, Ohanashi Staito Omimas, Yoroshko Negaishimas. Ipuk Sashi Agemas To Hitokoto Ite, Sado no Otemaiga Hajimarimas. Chisa no Chasitni, Teshuga Haiti Kuruto. 畳をする旅の音が聞こえ、やがて釜でコポコポするお湯の音が耳に踊ります。お茶を飲んでお道具を拝見して、失礼いたしましたとまた一言だけ言ってお手前が終わります。茶道を習い始めた時、とても不思議なことに気がつきました。日本には声に出さない言語があるということです。それは言葉を使わずにお互いの気持ちを伝える静かな言語でその名はおもてなしですおもてなしには語源が2つあり1つはもてをなすつまりサービスを意味しもう1つは裏おもてなし自分には裏もおもてもなく心が突き通っているという意味だそうです茶道で私が気づいた声に出さないコミュニケーションは作法と音の2つです。まずは茶室で体の動きで尊敬と謙遜を表します。例えば右足で茶室に入って左足で出るのは謙遜の気持ちからだそうです。音でも気持ちが表せます。お食事が終わった時お皿にお箸をそっと置くのはごちそうさまでしたという意味です。そしてお茶を音を立てて一気に飲み込むのは本当に美味しくて最後に残った泡まで飲んでしまいましたという意味になります。お互いの動作を見て心を読んで会話するのは茶道に限られたものではないと思います。日本に行った時おもてなしの心は毎日の生活でも多く見られましたご挨拶のお辞儀、名刺の交換、ビールを注ぐとき、瓶を両手で持つことなどもおもてなしという静かな言語です。日本語が上手になるには、この声に出さない文化の部分も本当に大事だと思います。おもてなしの心は日本の魅力の一つであり、私が日本が大好きな理由です。ご清聴いただき、Thank you, Romano san.、Uh, please stay with us for your question. Watanabe san, whenever you are ready.
おもてな日本のおもてなしの文化に興味を持ったきっかけは何ですかさ例えば茶道だとしたらなぜ茶道に興味を持ったのか教えていただけますかはい、はい、あのー私はお抹茶が本当に大好きなので、日本語を勉強し始めたとき、お抹茶を知り、その味が好きになりましたが、結局、お抹茶の歴史や伝統的な作り方など全然知らなかったので、もっと知りたいなという気持ちで茶道を始めました。で、茶道であのこのおもてなしというのをコンセプトをああの習いました。とても素敵だなと思っていました。ありがとうございます。わかりました。こちらこそありがとうございました。Thank you, Watanabe さん、and Romano さん。Romano さん、you may turn off your camera and microphone. And once more, of course, we do want to thank our special guest, Judge Mr. Chikazu Watanabe from Kino Kuniya. Thank you for joining us here today, sir. Okay, this concludes. Let me turn on my video. This concludes Division 5. Participants, thank you for participating. Uh, everybody, please breathe a sigh of relief. That concludes the competition portion of today's contest.、Um, we have already had our first special guest in Katsura, Katsura Sunshine.、Um, I am now actually quite pleased to introduce、uh, our second special guest, who is the JET Alumni Association, Exoma area president,、uh, Mr. Andrew McCarthy, who will be sharing insights into the JET program. Andy McCarthy is an attorney in the energy sector, in, sorry, energy sector in Houston. Born in Ohio, Andy graduated from Lafayette College in 2005 with a degree in international affairs, having spent one year studying at Kansai Kaikokugo Daigaku in Osaka Prefecture. After graduating, Andy worked as an assistant language teacher on the DEP program in Futatsui Machi, Futatsui Machi in Japan, teaching English to kindergarten. Elementary and junior high school students. After teaching, Andy returned to the US and graduated from the Ohio State University Moritz College of Law in 2011 before migrating to Houston. He has served as president of the JET Program Alumni Association in Texas and Oklahoma since 2018. And also, he's just a nice guy.、Uh, McCarthy san, yoroshiku, o n e g a i s h i m a s Hello there.、Uh, I see my video is still not enabled, but I am here. Oh, there we go.、Uh, okay, here I am. Hi.、Uh, thank you very much for that wonderful、um, introduction, uh, Mark. Um, again, my name is Andy McCarthy, and I am the、uh, current president of the Texa, Texoma、uh, Jet Alumni Chapter here for you know, Texas and Oklahoma. And I'm very pleased to talk to you today a little bit about the JET program and what my experience on the JET program was like.、Uh, before I do that, I do want to commend、uh, all of today's、uh, contestants for all of their hard work and effort、um, learning a foreign language, especially something like Japanese. It's not just a, a vehicle to communicate in another, you know, in another tongue, but it's a way of perceiving and, and、uh, you know. Interpreting the world around you. And I think just from the effort you've put in, your world is already a, a wider, richer place、uh, than it would be without Japanese. And I commend you for all those efforts.、Uh, but I do have a presentation to share with you today. Let's see if we can get that up.、Uh, okay. There we go. Okay. Is my, let's see, my apologies for technical ineptitude. Ah, let's try again. Okay, okay, I think we're there. Okay, so yeah, let me share with you a little bit about、um, first of all, what the JET program is and、uh, what you need to know. So, the JET program is a program run by the Japanese government that、uh, recruits thousands of college graduates every year to go teach 
uh, English in Japan or live in Japan. Um, and there are several roles that the JET program offers. Um, the most common role is as an assistant language teacher, co-teaching English language in public Japanese high schools, junior high schools, uh, elementary schools, and occasionally, you know, kindergartens. Um, for more advanced speakers of Japanese, there's the coordinator for international relations position, where you generally work in a local government office and assist with um, whatever sort of internationalization uh, or you know, international affairs efforts they may have ongoing. And then there's a the sports exchange advisor, which is a much rarer role, but um, allows folks to go and, and help coach you know, uh, sports teams in Japan. About uh, 1,000 folks from the US every year are selected to join the JET program. In order to apply for the JET program, uh, you really only need to have two things. Uh, you need to be a US citizen and you need to hold a four-year bachelor's degree. Um, that's really it. Obviously, you should be able to demonstrate uh, interest in Japan, international exchange, and teaching as part of the application process, but those are your base eligibility criteria. The application launches every autumn in the fall, you know, when the school year starts. In the winter, the successful candidates uh, receive a notification that you'll face an interview. And then in the spring, you know, you'll find out whether or not you passed the interview stage and then figure out where you get to go. So this is a process I went through, all of our JET alumni uh, have gone through. For me, um, my process, you know, when you apply for the JET program, you get to kind of say where you'd like to end up. Um, and I'm from, and originally from Ohio, which is a cold, wintry place. Uh, so I was very tired after growing up for there, you know, for 20 years in Ohio. I wanted somewhere warm and uh, not full of snow and ice. So I put as my preferences, please give me Okinawa, please give me Kagoshima or just anywhere in Kyushu, please give me somewhere very warm. Uh, and though you get to pick your place, you don't always get to pick where you end up. Um, and the JET program came back to me and said, if you would like to go to Japan, please go all the way up here to Akita Prefecture, which is still snowy and icy, but you know, it's beautiful in its own way. While I was on jet, I lived in the small town of Futatsui, which is way up north at the top of uh, Honshu. Uh, that little tree gentleman there is the Futatsui mascot, uh, it's called Mokun, the little tree man. And the reason is Futatsui has the tallest virgin cedar tree in Japan. That's their big claim to fame. So everything was very tree related while I was there. Um, while you're on jet, you obviously have to live somewhere. Many jets end up in an apartment. Uh, but for us very rural jets, Futatsui only had about 11,000 people. I had this small house here. It was a two-story house. There's the car I inherited from the last teacher there on the right. And this is the inside of my house. Um, I had a small uh, tatami room down here downstairs. I had a small table for people to, you know, to host guests and visitors. And then right behind that on the bottom right corner, you'll see what was behind, you know, the camera which was a small sofa, my laptop, a TV, and that stove in the bottom left-hand corner is what you would use to heat the entire house. As you may or may not know, Japan doesn't really have much in the way of insulation or central heating. So this unit, you know, it would heat that small tatami room and that's kind of where I would spend a lot of the winters. Um, and then the upper right-hand corner, you have my kitchen. I had a small, you know, gas grill there in the upper, upper right and a microwave over off to the left. We actually used that microwave to uh, it had an oven feature. We used it to cook a Thanksgiving turkey uh, for one November for a bunch of the other JET members uh, in the area. And then the bottom left was my your standard Japanese bathroom with the, the shower unit on one side and the bathtub on the other. Okay, so while living in Akita, uh, for the first nine months or so I was there, I taught at one junior high school and four elementary schools and three kindergartens. Those were the all of the schools except for the high school uh, in my little town. So here's a picture of my junior high school and some happy students. Always very cheerful, you know, whenever the, the foreign English teacher comes. Uh, these are some of my elementary school uh, student experiences. That picture on the left was a very small elementary school in the countryside. And this combined picture is the entire 
fourth, fifth, and sixth grade uh, class. And then these are my kindergarten students. And we say, I say kindergarten in Americans, we generally think kindergarten is age five, um, but you know, in, in Japanese it's more like a daycare center. So it's ages zero all the way to five. Um, and in this particular picture, as you may know, the Japanese snowman, the Yuki Daruma is maybe, it's two, you know, snowballs. Here we did some American uh, Yuki Daruma. So we made uh, three snowball snowmen. After the first nine months, my town was eaten up by another town. We became a bigger town, part of Noshiro City next door. And so I was able to teach at a large number of uh, elementary schools, junior high schools, and kindergartens. Now, when you join the JET program and you get the chance to teach, um, you don't always have to have teaching experience. I certainly did not uh, when I first went on the program. You get to team teach, and these were some of the team teachers I worked with, um, Japanese teachers who teach English, um, and you're in the classroom with them, working with them uh, to share you know, English language and American culture uh, and your own culture uh, with, with the students. Now, outside of you know, living and working, you just, I'm, I'm, this is where I'm gonna just gush about all the amazing things you can do you know, on jet living and working in Japan. So I arrive, you arrive in Japan usually in the summer, so Akita, all of Tohoku really is very famous for lots of summer festivals. Um, the one on the right is the most famous festival in Akita, which is called the Kanto Festival with these lanterns that look like, you know, stalks of rice. And the performers will balance these giant things like on their palm, on their shoulder, on their hips. It's, it's really amazing. And then off the left here is Nebuta Festival in Amori, another gorgeous summer festival. Um, Akita is also famous for being extremely rural and very, you know, full of natural beauty. Um, this photo here on the left is from the town I lived in. The emperor, the Meiji emperor of Japan actually came to Futatsui and he named this hill Kimimachizaka, which is something you wouldn't know unless you lived, you know, in Akita or nearby, um, and which is something you can do on the JET program. Uh, on the right is a giant uh, Tawadako, a giant lake over in the uh, in Odate and Akita, also very pretty uh, in the fall. But then, um, you know, oh yeah, and these are some some school pictures. I had a student, you know, draw my my face. Uh, upper right hand corner, they had a school festival. They did a robot battle, and somebody made a student studying with little onigiri on their plate, um, and some you know student art, some nice stuff there. Uh, and then came winter in Akita, and it was, I went on jet saying, you know, if I get winter, I'll be very stingy about, you know, whether I stay another year. And uh, the first winter I had was the worst winter Akita had had in 80 years, as you can see by the amount of snow in the photo and this little trench. My house is kind of, if you go down that trench and around the corner, that's my house. I dug that trench so I could get out from my house and onto the street uh, every morning. Um, for worst winter they had had in 80 years, but the experience was just so fun and enriching. I ended up staying for two more years. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it was uh, so much snow that, uh, you know, these are my neighbor kids. They would come and basically treat my front driveway as a playground. Um, and this snow stayed until about June. Um, the last of it finally went away. And at its hardest, where if you could actually climb up on top of the snowbank and just kind of stand there and you would be basically one story up. It was quite something. And, and uh, you learn all kinds of things. I had never skied before. Um, you're up in Tohoku, great chance to learn to ski. I made peace with the snow by learning to ski. And then yeah, at the top of these, these ski area mountains, especially in the middle of Akita, which is extremely far removed from everything, they have these, these trees that just gather up all the snow. They call them snow monsters. Um, yeah, they look amazing. Okay. And then of course, after you ski, my town was full of delicious ramen. That was probably my favorite bowl of ramen while I was there. Every, every weekend morning, I'd wake up and go get myself a bowl of this um, or go to the onsen. This was an onsen near where I lived. It's over, you can see the Sea of Japan there in the background. And so you can just kind of sit in the hot water and just enjoy, enjoy life. Okay. But it wasn't all, you know, ramen and onsens. There were certainly, there are challenges too. 
Um, Akita, where I was, is extremely rural. So, you know, we have the image of Japan being technologically advanced and trains are coming every five to 10 minutes. Um, you know, public transport in Akita is not quite as prevalent. I had to drive a car, which meant eventually I had to go and get my Japanese driver's license. And these are pictures of the Japanese driver's license testing course that we have to drive through. They give you the route, you take a paper, you memorize the route, and then you have to drive it. Um, and if you look on the right, you'll see these very thin S curves and we had to drive the driver test car along those S curves. And if your tire goes over the edge, uh, you might fail the test. All right. Other challenges, uh, people just wanting to know too much about you. This was a, a student was given the opportunity to ask me five questions and he decided to spend that time really trying to tell me to tell her who I was seeing. Uh, it's not everybody, obviously it just happens sometimes, but it is a challenge. And so you're not just there to absorb Japanese culture, uh, but you're also there to teach American culture. So, you know, I took with me uh, on the right, we have, there was a quiet moment in the, uh, preparing for a school festival and everybody's kind of being bored and doing nothing. So I took a moment to teach people paper football. Uh, so that's what they're doing over here on the right. And then I think in the first few months, I decided to construct a water balloon launcher because we had, you don't think of Japan as having wide open spaces, but we had them in Akita. And so uh, this was the testing picture, but I eventually went and I used it as part of my self introduction uh, at my junior high schools. And it was always a hit. The other hit was uh, we had a, another American teacher whose parents sent them pumpkin seeds and he didn't want to do anything with them. And so I asked a local farmer who was a friend of mine if he would grow them uh, for the, uh, the autumn. And he did. And we had a bunch of pumpkins. And so I ended up carving the giant, you know, go back one. American pumpkins. These are a bunch of them in the front of my room. But I had probably twice as many uh, when all the seeds had come. And we did a giant pumpkin carving activity in all of my uh, elementary schools. And back here, I carved one for each of my five junior high schools and delivered them at night. And then they can see them in the morning, you know, when they come to school uh, around uh, Halloween. And, but you do get to absorb some Japanese culture too. Um, on the right here, I was a member of a taiko group, uh, Japanese drumming uh, toward the end of my time there. And this was us after one of our concerts. Uh, the JET program alum, or the JET program members of Akita every year have a Gaijin Sumo tournament, where all the ALTs, you know, for charity, you know, sacrifice themselves basically for charity uh, in a in a Sumo tournament, and it's very serious stuff. Uh, this was me, probably shortly before I got you know knocked out of the circle because I was probably the lightest person there at the time. Um, and then I picked up table tennis, which you would not think as a Japanese thing, but Japan has some of the strongest table tennis players uh, on the planet, and it's a serious sport. Out of my four junior high schools, five of them had a table tennis team. So that is the general gist of life you know, on JET, but also one of the other benefits of JET is you do get the chance to be near other parts of the world and go see those too. Um, I did take some time uh, during summer vacations to go see, you know, on the left you have Mongolia, and on the right, you have Vietnam. Um, great trips as well. So I just wanted to give you a quick survey of what the Japan or what JET is about, what my life was like, and I'm hoping, you know, to have generated some interest uh, for you all. And I think I have a little bit of time for some questions, if there are any. Let me end the screen. Do, okay. So uh, if any of our uh, contestants viewers contestants have any questions uh please use the raise hand function in zoom which is under reactions if you've made it this far uh, into the pandemic without learning where that's located um and i might need to adjust my view to see if anybody is raising hands I see one okay uh mr depavian Thank you so much. Um, yes, so 
I know there are multiple, as you mentioned, there's multiple different kinds of things you can do on the JET program. And um, I know you did uh, a lot of teaching. I was really interested in, I believe there's a program where you can work kind of at a city town hall. And I was wondering if maybe you could talk in more detail about what exactly that entails. Sure. I mean, and I, my, my experience is a little narrower. I did not do that that position. But what I have heard is it can vary. It's very jets to a fault. We always say every situation is different. And I think that's very true about that CIR role. For some, you may be helping them with, you know, promoting some kind of touristy thing or just answering questions coming out from outside about, you know, to the town that they, they need to get an answer out in English. But for others, it can almost be similar to the ALT job where they do want you to go spend time at a school doing something. It's really a very much a wild card position, but it does generally require a little higher level Japanese than the ALT role, is my understanding. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, I can mean I can keep jabbering. I mean, this I was digging for something in case my you know my my PowerPoint didn't share, but this was my little nafida while I taught uh, my junior high school. And then, you know, I tell all the outgoing jets this before I go, but I have my book. My mom bought me this book, my third year of jet, uh, and she wanted me to use it as a journal, and I just let it sit on my bookshelf. But the last month I was in Japan or so. I started taking it to all my schools because I was just kind of curious how many people am I interacting with, you know, in this small town on a regular basis. And now my book is just full of, you know, all these signatures and messages. And that's, that's Jet. You get to meet so many wonderful people, uh, both, you know, Japanese folks and other ALTs from across the, the English speaking world. They recruit not just from the US, but also Ireland, the UK, uh, South Africa, Canada. Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, all, all over the place. You get to meet so many amazing, wonderful people. All right, Andy. Oh, okay. We have one more question and this will have to be our last before we move on. Uh, please, Albert. China. Uh, hello. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry for the question at the last minute. Um, so I would definitely be interested in this program but um, my one issue there is I'm in a wheelchair and getting around in a wheelchair is extremely difficult. So I was wondering if that would be a barrier to um, application or anything like that. Um, I don't think it would be a barrier. I know that part of the recruiting process, they do ask about condition, like you know, if you have some sort of a barrier, well, not a barrier, but like, an, you know, a, like a, a, if there's something a, that could, make living in a certain location harder than in another location. Yeah, I understand. No worries. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to ask, because again, I am really interested in this program. I just, that's always something I have to consider before signing up for anything like this. So for sure. I just wanted um, to know if you had an answer to that. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I, you're welcome. I don't know if I have an official answer because I don't recruit, but I, I think... Uh, we can get some, I, yeah, we'll get you maybe the address, email address for the JET coordinator, and they can get you a hard answer on that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Andy. Um, we're going to go ahead and proceed, but uh, everybody could, uh, with your video off and microphones muted, give Andy one more round of applause, which he does deserve. <laughs> Just uh Imagine me times 40 there, Andy. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I have received word that our judges have completed their deliberations, which means it is time for us to transition to our closing ceremony. That's the cue I was waiting for. Okay, um, welcome to the 2022 Texas State Japanese Language Program Closing Ceremony. Uh, today, we have heard the recitation of poetry. We felt the four seasons through some wonderful original haiku, and we've listened to some carefully and honestly crafted speeches. Contestants, thank you for inspiring us with your Japanese language proficiency, and we congratulate everyone for a job well done.
Um, the Texas State Japanese Language Speech Contest is a collaboration between the Consulate General of Japan in Houston and the Japan America Society of Houston. Joining us from the Japan America Society of Houston, R. Jash, to share thoughts on the contest is Yuzuru Nagawa, Jash's Vice President and Vice President and General Manager of All Nippon Airways. Uh, Mr. Nagawa. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for introductions. Uh, I'm a Vice President of uh, Jash. Uh, on behalf of, of Josh, I'd like to con congratulate all the contestants for your all the efforts and uh, all your preparation and all your study for last one year. Uh, in this uh, time of uh, pandemic times, actually it's difficult to keep your language skill, but I'd, I'd like to congratulate all, all of you. I'd also like to thank uh, judges and teachers and parents and all uh, sponsors and also uh, the Council General for preparing for this. Uh, this is a second occasion that we have done a virtual and uh, I can see uh, very well organized and also uh, very uh, time uh, con con controlling this uh, management is very good. So I also like to appreciate all those uh, uh, organizer for preparing for this. Uh, speech contest. Uh, I have been involved in this speech contest for the last seven years, but uh, even though this uh, virtual uh, occasions, I can see that uh, uh, many uh, good quality of speech today, uh, and also as well as haiku. I uh, hope that uh, 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 in this time of uh, occasion, uh, you can utilize this your Japanese language in more in, in person. I know that you have been more time in practicing virtually, but hope that uh, your skill and your Japanese uh, language skill will hopefully use more uh, occasion in, in persons. Uh, communications always has to be, uh, the, you know, balance and uh, you need more response from audience, but I, I like to congratulate that having this speech contest in virtual is difficult because you don't see any response from audience. But uh, I also like to uh, congratulate all your efforts. Uh, so that's all for my, my closing. Uh, I know that uh, uh, Japan is uh, beginning of March. They are opening gradually. Uh, even for uh, uh, non-Japanese. So hopefully that uh, uh, you can go to Japan to study more about uh, Japanese, not just the language, but also cultural history and also more about uh, Japanese uh, business as well. Uh, congratulate everyone and uh, thank you so much. <clears throat> thank you, Nagawa-san. Um, also joining us to reflect on today's competition is Dr. Yuko Prefume, president of the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas. Uh, Prefume Sensei, uh, please turn on your camera and Yoroshiku on Thank you for the introduction. Hey, minasan, konnichiwa. Hey, first of all, uh, congratulations to all the contestants who competed here today and their teachers and their families. Omedetou gozaimasu. It was another awesome virtual speech contest and I know the judges had a hard time scoring each contestant. And Shinsai no Minasan, Otskare Sama Deshta, Hontoni Ariato Gozaimashta. Now, on behalf of all the Japanese language learners in the state of Texas and JTAP, the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas, I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to the judges, Consul General Hirofumi Murabayashi and Consulate General of Japan in Houston. Japanese Business Association of Houston, all the sponsors, and most importantly, thank you to the Japan American Society of Houston, Vice President Mr. Nagawa, the Executive Director Ms. Patsy Brown and her staff for making this event possible and for their continued support for the Japanese language education in the state of Texas. Hontoni arigatou gozaimasu. And it's been over two years since the COVID pandemic hit the world and 
uh, everyone has faced many challenges. And of course, Japanese language learners and Japanese language teachers are no exception. We all had to adjust from in-person learning to online learning. And it was not easy at all. Teachers had to spend countless hours preparing new instructional materials. And students had to learn to adjust to the new distance learning environment. But because of everyone's dedication and hard work, we have survived. And we are here today to enjoy and witness our students' achievements. So I'd like to thank all the Japanese teachers and all the organizations that supported the regional and the state speech contest this year. And today I heard a lot of outstanding presentations. Some were fun and some were touching and some had inspirational messages. And all of you have demonstrated that you have practiced hard for this day. And finally, uh, although I mentioned this at the last year's speech contest, I would like to share it again. And according to the American Association of Teachers Japanese website, studying a language such as Japanese shows that you have what it takes to be successful in life. You possess determination, patience, and absolutely no fear of challenging yourself. So all the students who participated today, please remember that you are all winners. And to the high school students, there are many universities with awesome Japanese programs in Texas. So I hope you will continue studying Japanese when you go to college. To both high school and college students, please keep up your great work. And I hope you will be able to utilize your knowledge and experiences of studying Japanese language to achieve whatever goals you have for your future. And although the mask mandate for the COVID has been lifted, please take extra precautions and stay safe and healthy. Again, congratulations to all the contestants, teachers, and organizers for taking part in this great speech contest today. Thank you. Thank you, Kei Fume Sensei. So, before we announce our winners, we would like to celebrate all of our contestants with a group photo. So, will all of our contestants please turn on their cameras for an all contestant photo? All right, I'm going to wait for the go ahead. There are, at least on my display, uh, three pages of us. So I may be counting down six times instead of my standard two. Once I hear in chat that we are set. All right, we are set. So first of six, guys. Three, two, one, smile. Three, two, one, cheese. Three. Two, one, charan. Three, two, one, shin. Three, two, one, let's jam. And three, two, one, cheese. I think we're great, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, you may turn off your cameras. And now, the moment that we have all been waiting for, the announcement of today's winners. Starting with Division I Poetry. Division I contestants will receive Amazon gift certificates courtesy of the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas. Third place and a $25 Amazon gift card goes to Jerry. Zong, congratulations. Second place, and a $50 Amazon gift card goes to 
ヘブン、ルオ。おめでとうございます。And first place, and a $100 Amazon gift card goes to Joshua Zuniga. Congratulations to all of our winners. Next, we have the winners of Division 2 Haiku. Division 2 contestants will receive Kino Kuniya gift certificates courtesy of the Japan Business Association of Houston. Third place, and a $50 Kino Kuniya gift card goes to Gania Uelike. Congratulations. Second place, and a $100 Kino Kuniya gift card goes to Rebecca Scaramucci. Congratulations, Rebecca. And first place, and a $150 gift card goes to Nara Monreal. Congratulations, Nara. Congratulations to all of our winners. Vision three, free speech, high school. Aurora. Division three contestants will receive scholarships courtesy of the Japanese Association of Greater Houston. Third place, and a $200 scholarship goes to Camille Kutras. Congratulations. Second place, and a $300 scholarship goes to Eliana Moore. Congratulations. First place, a $500 scholarship goes to Ananuri Aniam. Congratulations to all of our winners. Our first place song, or I'm sorry, our first place winner, uh, Aniam Sun, will also be moving on to represent Texas in the Aurora Foundation's. All USA High School Japanese Speech Contest later this year. Also, pleased to announce that the winners of our next division, Division Four, Free Speech College and University.、Um, division Four contestants are receiving scholarships courtesy of the Japan America Society of Houston. Third place, and a $200 scholarship goes to Daylene Fabi. Congratulations. Second place, and a $400 scholarship goes to James Dalton. Omedeto. And first place, and a $600 scholarship goes to Ella Barton. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our winners today. And、uh, of course, today saw the revival of the Open Division competition. Open Division winner will receive a special prize, which includes an elegant fountain pen and a traveler's notebook, courtesy of Kino Kuniya Bookstore, as well as two tickets to the 2022 Dash Gala to be held in the fall. So the Kino Kuniya prize goes to our winner, Alisa Noro. So congratulations, Alisa. Okay. Last but not least, I have the honor of introducing a new award to this year's competition the Japanese Teachers Association of Texas Inspiration Award. Inspiration is the action or power of moving the intellect or emotions to a high level. This newly created award celebrates Texas Japanese language learners whose efforts inspire and motivate others to excel in their own pursuits in the study of Japanese. The recipient, Of this, the inaugural JTAT Inspiration Award goes to Shaina Albert. Congratulations, Albert san.、Uh, we recognize you for your perseverance, dedication, and determination to overcome challenges, and most importantly, for serving as a role model to give hope and inspiration to others. Thank you, Albert san, for inspiring us all with your dedication to learning Japanese. To our winners and to all of today's contestants, Your hard work has certainly and clearly paid off.、Uh, before we close today's contest manga story, we would like to share a special reminder that using even easy Japanese can encourage a more inclusive, diverse, and kinder world.
Cue the video. ところに行きたいですか。もしろ人に会いたいですか。日本語の愛の歌聞いた時あなたのハートをワクワクドキドキ優しい楽しい答えをしましょう。一緒に日本語勉強しましょう。家族の前で日本語のメニュー読める。家